Alrighty, YouTube should be up. Matt, can you hear me? Somebody else is in here. I got him here. Hopefully, looks like it's working. Should be hearing Minecraft audio on the back. I got asked the other day. Is <laughs> Streamlabs bot works? That's a good sign. That hasn't worked in like four streams other than muting people. Yes, yes. All right, nice. In another minute, we'll get TikTok running, and then we'll be fully live. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, but to answer your question, Matt, I did not have a plan for today's stream. Did not remember that tomorrow is Easter, so I'm like, shit, no Sunday stream. So I had to kind of like throw this one together, and I didn't have a plan for it. So just going to kind of be working on this, that, and other things. Should be fun, though. It's always fun. Just really just going to let my inability to oh, get stuff done. That's fine. Good. I'm glad it's fine with you, Matt. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Cecilia and Paige are already here, and I know Stormy's on the TikTok side of the chat. She's been blowing it up already. Three, two, one. There we go. And full screen. Then here. Unmute me. You guys should be able to hear me. Unmute Minecraft. That should be coming through. Looks like it's working. David, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Nick. Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Paige. Stormy, I know you're in here, too, because I saw you spamming out likes. Hopefully, we are up and running. Let me know if you guys can't hear me. Looks like we're working. Yep. All right. Awesome. So, full transparency for today's stream. I have no idea what I'm working on today. Cecilia, thank you for the follow. Definitely forgot that tomorrow was Easter. So I'm like, oh shit, no Sunday stream. I gotta find something to do on Saturday. So I am just gonna do like the busy projects I usually do off stream. <laughs> and you guys are gonna be stuck helping me out with those. So we're gonna do some busy projects today. But you get to, this is the side of the stream you guys don't normally see because I don't necessarily always stream in it. But I'm gonna wait for it to be swear one already. That's not a swear. I'm also highly caffeinated already. Definitely been a couch potato all morning, so I chugged a Celsius in order to have some energy to be on streaming today. I'm not doing end pillars. No way. But what I probably will do is go steal back all the resources that are tied up in the end. I want to get those out of there so those can be repurposed towards a different project. How are your guys' days going? Brooklyn with the heart me. Appreciate you. First dono of the stream. Easy was actually my cousin's birthday. Happy birthday to Cecilia's cousin tomorrow. Playing Hogwarts Legacy. I have not played that yet. I hear good things. Besides all like the controversy with it. I heard it's actually quite fun. Her name is Leah. Happy early birthday, Leah. Alrighty. I gotta recenter myself here. Alright. First things first, how are my lectures looking? Not looking great, so we are gonna go do that first. I am doing good, Paige. Doing good. I took this morning off from the gym. I had definitely a lazy morning, like big couch potato sweatpants vibes, and uh, was needed. But then I saw you guys commenting on Discord if asking if there's gonna be an Easter stream, or Danny called out. I'm like, Definitely not going to be able to stream on Easter because I'll be with the fam, so I needed to fit one in today. Good. Resting is good. Yes, and I ate today. You guys would be proud of me. Alrighty. So we need easy XP. Maybe these guys are restocked. Alright, first off, you. Then you. And all of this. Then I might have some stocked up. Give me my Elytras. It's not going to be in there. It won't be in there. Alrighty. Step one. Are you guys restocked? Huh? Let's get this out of my hand real quick. You are. Sweet. <laughs> Give me all the XP, sir. You should build a big... I do not post on Twitch. I split my streams with YouTube. I'm not a big fan of Twitch. I think they're very predatory on both their viewers and their uh, creators. Just popping by to say hi. Have a busy... Hi, Brooklyn. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for stopping in. Alrighty. 
so you should be maxed out to that top my so we get another one come here buddy excuse me sir I need all of these can I have that XP thank you very much welcome back Ryan ah that's close enough put the next one on hi buddy I will take all of these thank you sir stormy thank you for the heart me appreciate you is Danny in here did she sneak in hi Danny welcome back Ryan Alrighty, half health on that one. Give me what is my YouTube? It's it's Kinger IV, same as the TikTok. You can follow the uh, link in my bio. It should be working today, hopefully. Also, I fixed the Discord link, I think. Hopefully, it's working. But it's it's Kinger IV, same as the uh, same as the TikTok page. Alrighty, on to you. I did. Hello. What'd you think of the uh, world tour, Danny? I know you finally got a chance to watch it. What'd you think of it? Alright. Almost there. I haven't even had to use the bottles yet. Alright. So that should be good there. Now. That tops that one off. Put this one on. That should top that one off. Do I have another one? I do. So all my electrics are healed now, and we have backup bottles of enchanting for quick heals. I'd say that works pretty good. Cecilia, it's it's King or IV, same as my page here on TikTok. You can follow the link in my bio, or you can just search it up and you can find it that way. The industrial area had which industrial? The uh, like the da -da 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 -da, the big farming area one, the thirty farms one. This is actually where we're gonna be next because this is all so much junk. Just got a new cam for your three D printer. Cool, Matt. I have no idea what that means, but cool. No problem whatsoever. Are you talking about this industrial area, Danny? Alright, so back to quality of life stuff. We need to do a little bit of chest monster love, so this should be one, two, and a change. Give me iron. Hi, Crafty. How are we doing? Yes, your girl was catching flies. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Meow. Hi, Crafty. Hi, Danny. Welcome in, everybody. Danny with the heart me. Appreciate you. Alrighty, so I'll give you guys the option here. Kind of like today's stream is just various projects around the world. Kind of cleaning up the messes. You are good, Crafty. I think it's nothing uh, that you and I haven't gone over already. So it's, there's nothing, there's nothing that you missed. But it's the here's the question. All right, let's go do the end first. I think that's probably the best area to clear out first. But we're gonna definitely need shulker boxes to do it. And no, I will not be doing a pillar today. It's that one's empty, this one. Uh, give me five. Because there should already be some in there. Nope, oh, give it back. That goes in there. How long have I had the world? The world is a little over two years old, and I have a little over 6,100 days in the world. Do I have a wall where I put donators' names on it? I do not. I have enough in this world that causes it to be super laggy and crazy. I don't do signs or anything like that. Very occasionally, I cave and name mobs. But that's only if everybody can agree on one name. Oh, 
Come on now. Oh, as soon as I take my hands off the keys. Alrighty. The question is, into the end. All right, time to clear out all of the resources we left tied up in this project. I forgot my pumpkin head, that might be a problem. This project is on hold indefinitely. If the Endermen become a problem, I will go back and grab the pumpkin head. But this is a ton of resources to leave tied up in the end dimension on a project that I'm not working on anytime soon. I know it's sad, Paige, but this was, looking back at it, this is definitely a project you take on if you have a lot of time to play Minecraft. And with my limited time to play and stream and all that stuff, it was too big of a project for me to take a bite out of. Completely redoing an end island is something you do when, like, this is what you do. <laughs> what was it? We are going to completely uh, redo the end dimension into, like, a custom spaceport biome type thing. And we probably put, like, 30, getting on 40 hours into it and made... Ah, oh, God, I love Endermen. I love Endermen so much. They're my favorite mob in the game. Yeah, you're my favorite. We're, I'm not even going to mess with them. I'm going to go get the pumpkin. I'm gonna go get the pumpkin. Pillars, not doing pillars. Go get our pumpkin. Oh, like Cookie. I know who Cookie is, yes. I've heard of the name. Give me this. Give me that. And then this goes right here. And now we play in third person. Oh my gosh, can I place blocks? Thank you. Now we play in third person for an uncomfortable amount of time. How long have you been playing the world? Uh, Griffin, uh, the world is a little over two years and I have a little over 6,100 days in it. Oh, wow, that was really zooming in. Okay, we don't need the pumpkin head until we get actually to the end dimension. He did the same. I haven't seen what he did with his end project. Uh, I just know the name. Love coming across this just vibes. Oh, appreciate that, Ryan. Been here for 30 seconds. You got an outrageous world. Thank you, Lucas. Appreciate it, man. Been playing a lot of Minecraft for many years. Hi, Romeo. Anyone else having hella lag? I'm not showing frame drops. Is it dropping for you guys? That might just be you, Danny. How long did it take me? Draco, I have a little over, like I said, a little over uh, 6,100 days in the world. A little over two years. Actually, we're coming up on two years, two months in the world. Like, real lifetime. Thank you, Brogan. Appreciate it. Give me all these. Back to remembering how to mine in a third person in the end. But yeah, if this was Java, then we could use TNT duping. This would not have been a monument as big of a project as it was going to be. But because we can't use end duping, as much fun as it was using the uh, beds to do TNT mining, it just wasn't practical. There we go. Hi, Trey. How are we doing? I think it's on your side, Danny, unfortunately. If there's anything I can do on my end to boost the quality, I will. Pop, pop, there we go. Do, do, do. Collect all of our... Luke, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Convert your world to Java. <laughs> I love Bedrock. It's the version I've played on for the longest time. It's the version I will continue to play on. I appreciate the suggestion, Ty, but it's... This is the version I've played the longest. It's the one I'm most comfortable on. Also, I kind of like that there's not a lot of Bedrock creators out there, but there's more Bedrock players. So it's nice to be able to do, like, play a version that a lot of my viewers play on. <laughs> Whatever you need to say, Ty. I've played Minecraft since the first alpha came out. 
uh, been on console Minecraft for many, many years. Bedrock is just the version that is most comfortable for me. Griffin, thank you for the follow. You're good, Ty. We're good. How do you make beacons? Beacons are nether stars, glass, and obsidian, and then you put them on a pillar kind of like this. Bedrock is dope. Bedrock has a bigger player base, but I will admit Java is definitely easier to mod and stuff like that. Bedrock is very... Because Bedrock's coded on C++, or C Sharp, whatever it's called. It makes modding it a little bit more difficult. But it's available to more people. How was the work week? I don't want to talk about work. <laughs> Lucas, thank you for the follow. It, it was one of those weeks, Danny. Very, very stressful week of work this week. Honestly, like Bedrock better. Yep, everybody has their preferences, right? Copy. <laughs> Lucifer, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I don't care how long we did in the end doing third person. I'm never going to be good at playing Minecraft in third person. It's just not how this is going to boil out. But I'm not leaving any resources here that can be used on other projects, including four or three quad beacons. Agami, thank you for the follow. Can we see some builds? Uh, so Ty, I'm going to be doing kind of a bunch of miscellaneous projects in today's stream. So you'll see a bunch of different areas of the world. There is a full world tour available over on YouTube. If you want to go watch that with my full world and the 6,000 days I've spent in it. Okay, we're going to do this like this. Because I can't tell if I'm breaking it or not. They're close, but they're not all the same. They're a lot closer than they've always been. Joel, we're kind of just doing a bunch of little projects here and there. Do you remember playing the 360s tutorial world? I do. I grew up playing on PS3, though. So I just have uh, generic music going on in the background. To be honest, half the time, I don't even like rec like listen to the actual music. I just use it to like fill up the fact that there's a fan going down here to keep things cool. Legacy Edition Minecraft is still my favorite version I've ever played. That will never, ever, ever change. Oh, that's right. This is, we use snow for this. You can actually view... view. I grew up playing the PS Vita. Goaded. That is goaded. Alright, here's the question. How much junk is here? I don't care about that chest or that chest. What's in this shulker box? Okay. All these shulkers need to come home. Oh, yeah. All of this is... Oh, there's a bunch of white glass here, too. Yeah, all of this needs to come back. But let's... One of these was empty. One of you was empty. Ah, you know what? This one works. We'll put all of the iron we've got so far. And the beacons in there for now. Because we're just going to take all of this home anyway. Where's your shulker farm? Uh, somewhere in one of these directions. I don't know. I have the coordinate... Ah. I have the coordinates saved on my phone. Natalie's boyfriend, thank you for the follow. Angel, I appreciate you asking, but this is just a single player world. I'm the only one in here. I do confuse people though, because I say we a lot, but when I'm saying like, hey, we worked on a project, I'm referring to me and chat. Romeo, I'm kind of doing a bunch of little projects today. So normally I stream on Sundays and then I realize, hey, tomorrow's Easter and I'm spending it with my family. So I don't have time to do like a full stream. So I'm doing like a stream that you guys don't normally see where I'm doing like the little projects around the world. Oh, Julio. I didn't even catch that. What are we? Yeah, tomorrow is Easter. Let's be nice. Wait, are you taking build suggestions? I'm not taking build suggestions. I'm working on a bunch of little projects. Welcome back. So it's kind of just a bunch of little projects today. Like, I gotta, I'm collecting all the materials that I've left, you know, in the end for too long to get these back. Like, I have three quad beacons. There's no reason for these to stay here anymore. Ethan, we're working on a bunch of little projects. I am playing on PC. So this world started on PS5. And I had, it was on my PS5 for up until like the last month, two months. And then I switched over to PC. Take 
care of that real quick. Oh, he's gone. I just I just blocked and kicked him right out. He's gone. I beat you guys to that one. No need for that at all. Come in here, starting problem. I uh, just being in a aggressive in chat. We don't get many people like that, but occasionally they come up. Not always the wisest thing to mouth off against somebody's moderators in their stream. Have you tried getting the mace? I haven't done anything with the new updates. So I don't play any of the new updates until they actually come out in the live game because I like to experience them as they drop. You finished your map? How'd it come out? Whoa, that was really zoomed in. How'd it come out, Dawson? How did your map come out? Is it easier to stream on PC? I don't know. I streamed on my PlayStation for a long time. I still do streams here and there from the PlayStation. Like, we've been doing Dragon's Dogma. We did Helldivers. So, it's still possible to do. I just like being on PC a little bit better. It runs the world better. Matt, are you still in here? What's a cam for a 3D printer? I'm still curious about your comment. Oh, grab my iron. It's big, but it's worth coming out really nice. Nice, Dawson. I'm glad it came out good for you, man. Find new games to play because I'm getting burned out in Minecraft and Madden. Any suggestions? I would. Dragon's Dogma is a ton of fun. The one thing I will caution you on is it's really buggy. It's so much fun, but it's really buggy. Okay, so what's coming back with me? This is coming back with me. That's just an empty shulker. That's coming back with me. Anything good in here? Oh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Okay, you're empty. Not you. I want... I don't care about white carpet. I don't care about most of this. I do want the end rods, though. Everything else can stay here. Put that all the way. That's good. Actually, save myself the shulker box. And put these in here. Why are you wearing a pumpkin? So, wearing a pumpkin prevents Enderman from getting angry with you. So, like, I can... I see we can see one here. There's one right there. Like, I can stare at this guy all day and he won't get angry at me. But it's also, you know, awful looking and playing through this. So, that's why I play in third motion what third person when I'm using a uh, pumpkin. That's what I'm looking for. Finish my map. Thanks. Easy as dream. I did have that today. But it was working really nice. Center my world. Did it take you a while to get used to playing on PC? Nope, not really. Just the sensitivity was, like, the hardest thing to relearn. Because my sensitivity was different when I was on console. But I played on mouse and keyboard for a very long time now. Alrighty, so this is coming back. That's honeycomb. White glass, that's coming back. That's a bunch of iron. Ah, we'll just take all of these. I'll leave the regular chests here. Taking this. Really? I don't think there's anything more I want here. Splash book. Yeah, I think that's about it. Give me this. Alrighty, yeah, let's get out of the end. But yeah, so this was the original plan for the end, is we were gonna, you know, take this pattern style here and do it across the entire island. You can see where we already started knocking down pillars, and then about 30, 40 hours into this project, we realized this is going to take a crazy amount of time. And I, you know, work full time and I do other stuff. I don't have the time to dedicate to a project that large. Did you beat the dragon to get the elytras? So I beat the dragon once, did one portal, went through, got a bunch of elytras, and then we actually beat the ender dragon 19 times in a single stream, and it was brutal. But you don't have to beat the Ender Dragon to get an Elytra, but you still then you would have to bridge out a thousand blocks into the end to get the Elytra. So you don't technically you don't have to, but it's much easier if you do. That's got stuff in it. Stuff in it, stuff in it, stuff in it, stuff in it. I could have sworn one of these was empty. Alright, now the fun part of the stream where we go through all the crap I collect. Doo -doo -doo. How many people have been here since the days of the streams where we did nothing but collect the crap I leave all around my world? Hey, Johnny, how are we doing? So this is snow. This just goes over here. 
Don't even need to bother dumping that into the things. That's easy. This is honeycomb. We're just going to put that away. That's white glass. We're just going to put that away. Stormy was here. How do you get mob heads? You have to kill the mobs using charged creepers. Those are leaves. Just grab these. Get it. Come here. Give it. There we go. That's got generic stuff in it. That's got pink wool. We can just put the pink wool away. That's just orange wool. We can just put the orange wool away. That's empty. That's, we'll just sort that. And that's a full chest. So give me this. First one. Honeycomb block. Goes over uh, here. Best guess. Charged creepers. Yes. So a charged creeper is a creeper that's been struck by lightning, and then you can use it to blow up and kill uh, mobs, and then those mobs will drop their head. So you can use that to get zombies, uh, creepers, and skeletons. You can also use it to get piglin heads and uh, I can't think of their names right now, wither skulls. So if you want a 100% drop rate on wither skeleton skulls, you can use charged creepers. And a lot of old farms used to use uh, wither skeleton or charged creepers to farm uh, wither skeleton skulls because it was 100% drop rate. I don't do that. I just have a very efficient farm for it, but it is possible to do. Uh, which one of your oak leaves? Those are not oak leaves. Those are spruce leaves. Where's the oak wood? Oak wood's right here. Oak leaves. With well, the skeleton skulls would be super hard to get. Not really. I mean, I building yourself like a factory for beacons is not hard to do. I mean, yeah. It's not too, too crazy. Thank you, Griffin. I appreciate it. I, I like all my stuff very organized. I can't stand mismatched uh, storage. That's why I take the time to, you know, sort everything out where it's going. And this whole system is built with auto sorters. But why overwhelm the auto sorters if I don't have to? You know? takes no time to just put some of the stuff away. Also helps me remember where everything is. Kind of helps me remember. <laughs> I might need to shulker box some um, bamboo wood. Ah, no, we're just going to make it. All right, sweet. Purple, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So this should be empty. You should be empty. This has just a bunch of iron in it so like if i wanted to auto sort these items right like i could put an entire stack of you know crying obsidian in there and you see it'll be spit out and i know it's going to end up in the crying obsidian chest that's over there but you know sometimes it's just easier just to run and put the stuff away while i'm right here working on it anyway do i have ever been thank you for the follow hi lucky do i have every item i am missing a couple i'm missing some armor trims so I don't have silence, I don't have shaper, and I'm missing snout. So I'm missing three of the armor trims, but I'm pretty sure I have everything else. Oh, and I'm missing uh, deep slate emerald ore. I don't have that yet. I've been looking for that every once in a while. I like to collect things, and normally I collect random things. How do I build what, Romeo? Do you have to build an experience farm? So I have a bunch of farms that give me experience. So you're going to have to ask a little bit more of a specific question with that one. Yes. The item sorter is that big. So there's 300 modules in here. These are all should be empty, right? Yeah. Break these all down. Give and give. So I put these away in empty shulker boxes. So every chest in here, but these chests right here are auto sorted. So if we go back through the gate, you can see that I've put auto sorters on all of this stuff. So they're too tall stacked. It allows everything to be sorted out except for these where I just catch all my bulk items. What's my favorite build? Favorite build is like a super, super loaded question because it's pretty much whatever I'm working on at the current time. 
Goofy Goober, thank you for the follow. Best XP farm? Ooh. So, the villagers probably is the fastest. And then, gold farm's super easy to build, and it's probably the one I use the most. But I'd say my guardian farms are probably my favorites. Hi, Annie. How are you? And yes, you can duplicate, like, hold on, go ahead. So like I said, I've got all the music discs, all the pots. I just need the last three armor trims, and then I'll have everything. But you can take all of these smithing templates and duplicate them by following the recipe to get as many as you want. And no, I don't have one on my armor because I'm waiting to get silence. I have raided eight or nine ancient cities, and I have not had a chance to find silence yet. I've been seeing you pop into dead candy streams. I like candy streams, so I'm... I'm finding more and more Minecraft Bedrock players, and I'm trying to interact more. And I run into you guys in other people's streams all the time, and it's kind of fun to see how much like everybody's communities overlap. Did you see these? Uh, I like his bunny ears today. I was taken by surprise loading into his stream and seeing bunny ears today. I've seen you pop in a beans. Yes. You bought those for him? Nice. Cruz, thank you for the follow. Finn, I'm good. Yeah, I know Crafty. Crafty and I, I've actually played in Crafty's world. I built him an iron farm. Ah, oh, gotta be like at least two months ago now. Somebody's gonna have to go look at that old stream and find the date. Is it hard to charge a creeper? Not really. So you can kind of... Here, let me... I don't know what time of day it is. It's not nighttime. Fly. Oh, you know what we need to do today is we need to relink some portals. So we're going to fix that today, too, because that needs to be done. What is the best way to lure villagers? A boat and a lead, my guy. If you're on Bedrock, you can't use leads on a boat in Bedrock Edition. we got to do some portal linking real quick. What are the dimensions? Oh, I have no idea. Corners on the map. No. Is that a man-made island you just left? Kind of. It's flattened. It's man-made flattened island. Avocado, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Alrighty, so these portals are all screwed up because I let a creeper run through them. So I need to completely redo the portals on this end of the hub. So we're going to break these for now because they all need to be redone. Family, thank you for the follow. All of these portals have become unlinked. And this one got exploded. So this one's already not lit, but I need more blue carpet and moss. How long have I been in the world? So the world is a little over two years old. Like, it'll be two years and two months old on April 2nd. Then, uh, put this away, put this away. One of these should have moss carpet in it. I don't know which one it is. So there's our moss carpet, and then one of these should have just, there it is. Nope, that's cyan, I need light blue. So let's go fix that real quick. So the world is a little over two years old. I have a little over 6,100 days in the world been around for a minute but i gotta go break and relay a bunch of portals so that they relink to where they're supposed to link to because no use having an end hub if they're not linked where they're supposed to be carpets replaced all because a creeper snuck through that portal and when i came through the portal it blew it up and then the portal where that portal is supposed to be linked to this one over here and that was crazy unfortunate so now that one's linking's messed up and that one's linking's messed up and before they all start misaligning, I gotta fix it. Because I know me, and I will 100% forget to relink my portals, and then it'll be a whole mess. Alrighty. Oh, it's nighttime. This is a man made island, by the way, and it's all on glass. So this is my industrial area. This is where I do most of my, like, item collection. So this technically is an, an island made of glass. Alrighty, so I am going to need flint and steel. I can't get out of my menu. There we go. <laughs> we remember you, LeBron. I haven't heard that name brought up in the stream in a while. LeBron has his own emote now to remember it, memorialize him. Alrighty, so we're going to go break this portal and then break that portal and relink them. Yep, there it is. So this portal's linking has been screwed up, so we got to break it. 
Now, what we should be able to just do, replace it, relight it, and then go back to that portal we were just at, and then go back into the nether and relight it. That way they're relinked to where they're supposed to be. So we'll go back to our portal over here. Ow. Keep up the grind. Thank you, Goose. Appreciate it, man. I'm not going anywhere. I think I've done pretty good this year on the streaming. At least at least one to two a week. Sometimes more. I think I'm doing alright. Alrighty, so this portal's still linked, so now. I should be able to just put this subsidian back, light you, and then these two portals should now link. I built your iron farm. It's the best I made. Nice, Lucky. I'm glad it's working for you, man. Glad it's working for you. Again, I can't promise the best rates, but I promise you it works. Come on, link. Don't make a mess. Love that for me. All right, linked first try. How long did all this take? Uh... Isabella, this took a while. I don't know what the full time is. I have a little over two years in the world, and I have a little over 6,100 Minecraft days. So now we got to relink this beast over here. Might do some work on this today, too. I've I've figured out how I'm going to light this up. All right, so we got to break this here. Also, I realized, you know how many times I've hit this glass trying to fly through this nether portal? So many. So, so many. It needs to go away. Alrighty. So, this is broken. It's fixed. It's relit. That should automatically pair to the other portal. We just... Re Don't you have a big villager prison? So, Jacob, that is... Uh, not... Oh, I'm really forgetting his name right now. I feel really bad. Snozzy. Snazzy's the guy with the crazy villager of prison XP farm. That is not me. Snazzy Wazzy. Yes, Romeo's got it. So go back to this portal. How do you see how many days you have on Bedrock? So what you need to do is you make a copy of your world. So make a copy of your survival world. Load that survival world in creative. And once you load it in creative, you can type in the command slash time Kiri day. And it will allow you to see how many days you have in that world. Yes. Now, Snazzy's world is absolutely insane. He's also the big sandcastle guy and the dirt castle guy. People come in here and ask me if that's me. And for the longest time, I didn't know who Snazzy was. But now I can say that he's the big sandcastle and the big dirt castle guy. His stuff's crazy. And the fact that he does it all on an Xbox is wild. I'm jealous coming from a console myself that more or less gave up running my Minecraft world. Okay, well. Well, I know it linked to the right portal, but my world didn't load. Okay. <laughs> so those portals are reconnected now. So that's a good sign. You should replace the netherrack behind the portals. Ooh, good call out. Didn't realize there was no netherrack behind the portal. Hi, little buddy. Go suffer into the grinder. All right, uh. There's no netherrack in here to replace that with. This glass can stay here. We'll just do smooth stone. How many times am I going to run off into the ocean? You guys can already start taking bets. Oh, the netherrack's already replaced. We're good there. King, are we going to work on the music disc farm? Nope. Hey, Cap, how we doing? Is this one done? This one's patched. Okay. We are not working on the music disc farm today. That project's going to sit unfinished for a while. I like, I like, I don't like the project. <laughs> I think the next thing is I want to go to the industrial district, get some carpet, because I'll show you guys my idea for the uh, changes I want to make to... The Guardian Farm. Which the question is, which color is gonna look the best? Can you finish the end build? Probably not. Do you have the snapshots on? Nope. <laughs> I'm doing alright. What are we doing today? We are getting a bunch of little busy projects done. 
I kind of want to do... I really want to do white, but white's going to stand out a lot. I'll do... Oh, I have an excessive amount of blue. We'll see if this is enough for now. Come on, activate. There we go. Do you ever have to fight mobs? I haven't had to fight a mob in a long time. The only one I've squared up with in a while... Danny, and, Danny, thank you for the heart. Me, Stormy, thank you for the heart. Pop. Sorry, man. The only mob that I've had trouble with anytime recently is Cowboy. And where is he? It's Cowboy. That's Cowboy and Cowboy's horse. It's a baby jockey zombie that is way faster than you would think he is. He is, like, terrifyingly fast on that horse. So that is probably the most dangerous mob in the world. Moon, thank you for the follow. Candy, thank you for the heart, me, man. We were just talking about you. One of your followers and my followers was pointing out we were in each other's streams the other day. Hi, Gina. Welcome back, CP. I didn't send anything just now, but you're welcome. Okay. Alrighty, uh, shulker boxes are what I'm looking for. Alrighty, so we're going to need this. And the question is, how much... How many sea lanterns do I have uh, crafted? Because it's been a long time since I have stack crafted up sea lanterns. So we're going to check. Good things, right? Oh, only good things. I was complimenting your bunny ears and Annie saying she bought them for you. CP, I am working on like a bunch of various projects around the world. Kind of like picking and choosing and working on a bunch of different things. The question is, do I already have a shulker box of blue wool set up? I do, so I, I don't want to take all that. We'll just take this. I have so much wool and nothing to do with it. She did buy them. Oh, okay. You know what? I wasn't good for her. There you go. Or make a prison with very dangerous mobs. I think that's what we're going to convert the cathedral into. Is that. Rockets, 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 rockets. Do I have any? Probably should craft rockets today, too. Because I don't know where they are. Do, 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 do. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, that one guy. How are we doing? Does Snazzy Wazzy play Bedrock? Yes, he's actually on console. Which is wild. And I'm mad jealous because my console world gave up running. Alrighty, back into the nether. Good to know. I play Bedrock on your phone? Yeah, that's fine. I play on my phone too. So, cool thing about this world is it's uploaded to a realm, right? So, I'm the only one in here before anybody asks. I appreciate you guys asking and wanting to join. I do. I understand it. But I'm the only one in here. But what's cool is if I'm bored, I can load this realm on my phone and kind of walk around. Now, granted, I might not build anything, but I can get into my Minecraft world even when I'm not on my PC or my PlayStation. I can get into it on my phone. Bryson, thank you for the follow. Welcome. All right, let's do some detail work out here. I appreciate you asking, but no, Antonio. Oh, I got a kink in my neck. Something fierce. Alrighty. And, yep, there it is. There's one. That's why the glass was there, in case anybody was curious. I put the glass behind the portal because I will walk out of the portal the wrong way every time. Every time, without fail. Alrighty. I don't know one guy what. Candy's in here. Crafty was in here too. Taking it for granite. There you go. Alrighty, so the plan for this to light it up is I was going to button everything. Like, I thought that was the way I was going to have to go because this is one just big spawning platform in the middle of the ocean. And it's great for guardians, but obviously I don't want other things spawning up here. I just want the guardians spawning up here. Okay, you guys. Okay, come here. You should not have gotten out of the killing chamber. One of you got away, decently away. I don't know where it went. We are working on a bunch of little projects in the world. One of those being updating the guardian farm to block other mobs from spawning. The guardian farm gives me these drops right here, which are prismarine shards and uh, prismarine crystals, which allow me to like craft up blocks of prismarine and sea lanterns. And I absolutely love sea lanterns. They're my favorite lighting block in the game. And I use them 
everywhere. We're about to use them right now. And I also use this for XP, but less for XP, more for more for drops. They can in Bedrock. So in Bedrock Edition, mobs 100% can spawn within the bounds of a uh, ocean monument. This is all survival since day one. This is what truly late game survival Minecraft looks like. From somebody who probably plays a little bit too much Minecraft, if we're being honest. Is Minecraft your only game? It is not. I like to play a bunch of different games, but Minecraft is definitely my number one game. So, more or less the way to think of it is everybody has like their two weeks a year Minecraft phase or two weeks every six months. I have the opposite of that. So, I'll, you know, play another game for two weeks and then come back to Minecraft. So I have the opposite of the two-week binge. I have the, you know, two weeks of something else and then back to Minecraft. I have not played Terry. I have not. Thank you, Chugger. I appreciate that. What is the next big build? I don't know. We're still kind of picking away at the cathedral. Got some other stuff in mind that I'm working on that when I've made a decision on it, I'll let you guys know. But kind of just little projects here and there. I do really want to build an absolutely massive melon and pumpkin farm i don't know why i just have an urge to make a farm i don't need <laughs> shane thank you for the follow welcome welcome dash thank you for the follow welcome welcome can we see the cathedral so i'm not gonna fly over there right now but i can do this for you guys so let me if live studio wants to work and youtube i can't do this on youtube i apologize i wish you know it was much easier to do this but uh where are we minecraft and screenshots and a few screenshots and then what's the best one probably this one open so the image that should have just changed at the bottom of the screen that's the cathedral so it's it was my storage base now the bottom of the screen should be showing the cathedral project fit bennett thank you guys for the follows welcome welcome did it pop up for you guys is it showing up hopefully it came through easy enough Alrighty, I need this, and where are you? Here. Yep, okay, yes. So that's the cathedral down there. Ah, oh, there's a dolphin somewhere. Dead candy with the 22 GGs. Again, I don't know why Luke's live... Dead candy, thank you, man, I appreciate it. I don't know why Luke Live Studio hates giving me notifications anymore. What will you put in the cathedral? I think the running idea is I'm going to put a bunch of different mobs in there. Thank you, Candy. I don't know why I didn't pop up or make a notification for me. But I appreciate you, man. Thank you. It's, it's like random. Like, I'll get, you know, subscriber noises and follower noises, but not gift noises. Like a mob display. Kind of like the opposite of Noah's Ark where it's kind of like mob jail. <laughs> so, like... Everything from, like, two cows to mushrooms to this, that, and other things, you know? And I fell. Like a mob is like, kinda. I wonder if this stream will get copyright struck, too. Because when, we when we were doing Divorce Dad Rock the other day, I got a copyright strike against the stream. Which I don't think anybody's ever gotten in the history of TikTok. <laughs> oh, don't do that to me. There we go. Okay, we're just going to be difficult now, aren't we? Is what it is, right? I like live studio. It definitely, you know, is the best way to stream, in my opinion, to TikTok. But man, it's buggy. And Stormy, this... I, oh, I, you may have gotten a bingo, right? You may have gotten part of bingo. Does that count as me complaining about live studio? User, thank you for the follow. I think it's an issue because that I, you know, like, people can donate stuff while I have other people's music. That's where it gets messy. That counts against me? Ah, good to know. I stopped playing music for that reason. Now you can hear me breathing. So hopefully my mic isn't sensitive enough that you can hear me breathing. But, you know, I got myself worried now. Give me one second. Uh, here and here. And we go here. And do, 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 do. where is the playlist that I built? And 
Where is NCS? There you are. Let me know if you guys can hear music. Oh, that crashed my PC. I might get dropped. Hopefully I don't get dropped. I'm just going to play like it didn't crash. Okay, there it goes. We still hear music? Alex, thank you for the follow. Nah, I don't know if I caught it, but thank you for the follow. Welcome. So that ring's done. And then we're going to do the same thing up here. I kind of really want to do... Hey, Matt, how we doing? Ross, you're good, man. You're right on time. We are an hour into the stream. Devious, thank you for the follow. Leaf, thank you for the follow. Welcome. See, the follow noise make it... Not the noise. Valentino, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate it. I put on music, and I don't think music is playing. Oh, and I fell. Okay, back after it. All right. Hi, Prawley. How are we doing? And back up to the jumping puzzle, and I almost... And I... And back again. Out we go again. Carson, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I don't really hear anything, but I barely heard the last playlist. So I keep it low so it's not too overbearing. All right, brother. I'm going to head out. Have a great stream. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too, Candy. Gravity 2, King or Zero. When, when have I ever won against Gravity? Falling. That's why Feather Falling is super important. Have a great rest of your day, Candy. What person's farm do you use for the Guardian Farm? So this is my own design. That's what I do with all my farms, or at least I try to, for like the more easy to build ones. So I like to watch a bunch of videos on YouTube, then go into a creative testing world and kind of design my own. And that allows me to, uh, you know, enjoy the survival experience of getting up to, what's up brother? What's up brother? By the way, like six or seven people have done that, and I had no idea what it was because I have not been on TikTok a lot lately. I know that's funny while I'm streaming. Why am I destroying the prismine? I'll pick it up at the end. Again, it's a renewable resource, so it's not like I'm losing it. It's because of sketch. I know what it's because. I just didn't know what it was at the time. Flaco, yes. So this is what I've opted to wrap the Guardian Farm in. But I need to light it up to prevent mob spawning. I know I'm still going to get pillager spawns, which is unfortunate. But this will help it be less regular mob spawning. Also, it lights the inside up a lot more, which I like. And I'm going to have to find a way to decorate the inside because I don't like the look of it. I asked that before. I saw you placing the sea lanterns. Answer my question. Maybe put slabs? Maybe. So the idea, or a lot of iron golems. Um, where I put it. The question is, where did I put the shulker box I brought out here for this project? On the wall. The thought is... I was going to use blue, but I honestly might switch to white. What's a guardian farm for? I have played Siege. I played a lot of Siege uh, when it first came out. I like the blue. How do we... Let's fly out and look at the blue. The blue is going to stand out a lot, but I think it'll stand out the right amount. Like, I'm going to take these top parts and switch to that. You think cyan would be better? See, I, I'd like, I thought cyan, right? But the cyan blends. There's such a thing as blending too much. So that's why I like the blue is it stands out the right amount without blending in too, too much. I want it to still look like it's part of the build, but not the same thing. If that makes sense. I don't know. My <laughs> Hey, Blaze. How are we doing? My thought process with Minecraft is always weird. It's like 90% white noise. What's the Guardian farm for? So, Guardians. Well, one, you get XP. Two, I use Guardians for Prismarine blocks. So, Prismarine bricks and Prismarine and then Dark Prismarine, which I don't have any of over here right now. But you can also get Sea Lanterns, which are my favorite lighting block in the game. Athena, I think that's Athena. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So from the farm, you get shards and crystals. You also get raw cod, but I'm just burning all of the raw cod because I don't need it, if I'm being honest. Parker, thank you for the follow. Edit, thank you for the follow. All right, let me, one, let me sit my Gatorade, then I'll tell you. So how it works 
is underneath the farm on Bedrock Edition. This is a Bedrock farm. You can build one of these on Java, but they're very different. So it's a little hard to see. We'll get in the water. You see these pillars that go all the way down to the bottom? On Bedrock Edition, Guardians can only spawn in what are called Guardian Spawn Pillars. So they spawn in a vertical pillar. These blocks, these towers right here are blocking all of their spawns, except for this pillar in the middle, which is actually a water stream that has a bubble column in it. So this bubble column takes the guardians that spawn and forces them up into that trident killer. The trident killer then grinds them up and all their drops come down into the sorting system. So I agree with you. The frog lights are cool, right? Where are they? So... I agree with you that like the frog lights are super super cool they're very bright i don't know i just still like sea lanterns i really like the look of sea lanterns you know hi swerve how we doing so i i agree with you that frog lights are cool but i still really really like the uh sea lanterns i thought you were josh allen you guys just gave stormy another bingo square hi dz how are we doing how do you make frog lights? So frog lights, you actually you don't make them. You have to get frogs to swallow uh, magma cream. Yeah, they're hard to get, but once you like set yourself up for a farm, they really produce. So my frog light farm absolutely rips out frog lights, and I don't use them a lot. I like the yellow ones for industrial builds, but I don't use them enough to warrant... Yes, I normally I have the storage screenshot, but I put the cathedral there. So a lot of like the main builds people ask for, I have screenshots of. So I'm trying to not fly around too too much, and that's why I put the screenshots now at the bottom. Is this bedrock? Yes, it is. This whole world started on a PS5, and has since moved to PC because my PS5 gave up running it. Josh Allen comments are on the bingo board. I know they are. <laughs> That's why I'm pointing them out. Do you, Ernest, thank you for the follow. Do I like Bedrock or Java more? So I've played both. I play Bedrock simply because it's the version I've played the longest. And it's the version I'm most comfortable on. So I've played Minecraft since it came out in the Alpha Edition. And then my after the Alpha, I switched to PS3 when it came out on PS3. And I've been on console Minecraft ever since. It's time to Google Josh Allen. Enough people come in here and say it, so. Would you ever play Java for a world like this? Uh, yes and no. I do have about a thousand hours in Minecraft Java. I have played both versions. I'm just way more comfortable with, uh, with Bedrock. I don't know who that second person is. I get Josh Allen a lot. I don't know who the second person is. The loot person. Alrighty, so let's see how this looks. I like that with the with the blue accent. I, I agree. NBA player, okay. I'm horrible at basketball. <laughs> um, I mean I see it, but as regular I've looked at your face a lot, so not too too much. Appreciate it. What's the carpet for? Just to hide the sea lanterns. So I like the look from underneath, but not on top. I want that little bit of contrast on top of the build to cover up the sea lanterns. NFL quarterback for the Bills. I know who Josh Allen is. I watch football. Again, the Josh Allen comments have been happening for months. That's the first time I've got Luke, though. Why not Cyan? Because I feel like Cyan blends in too much. Like, I'm not hiding the fact that there's carpet there, and I feel like it blends in too, too much. I like the blue because it stands out the right amount. I'm weird. What about light blue? I, don't know. I agreed, but dark blue. Yeah. We'll see. Again, the purpose of this world is to get to as close to creative mode and survival as I can, so resources aren't the holdup. I can see it. You look like it. good to know. How did I get so much netherite playtime and I use tunnel bores in the nether? Did you build a monument instead of draining one? Yes. 
Hi Sage, I'm doing good. So I built uh, the Guardian Farm and then I'm wrapping my Guardian Farm in an ocean monument. So there's a full ocean monument underneath this build. I'm just putting a uh, build around it. That's the idea. Thank you, Noah. I appreciate it. So like underneath here, uh, you kind of see it there for a second, but there's a full underwater temple down here. All I did is I built the guardian farm, then grinding up guardians, and then I'm building a temple around them. Vinny, thank you for the follow. Tay, I play Bedrock because I've played Bedrock for longer, and it's the version I'm most comfortable on. And this whole world actually, for the first two years, was all done on a PS5. So when I converted over to PC, I didn't want to lose my world, and I didn't want to trade it to Java because, well, one, all my farms would break, and two, it wasn't a version I was comfortable with. So that's why I stayed on Bedrock. Also, I've built a pretty awesome community here on TikTok and YouTube around Bedrock Minecraft. So I don't want to jeopardize that by switching to a new version. Fire, thank you for the follow. Noah, all it takes is one block at a time. It really does. So there's some truly, truly amazing content creators around Minecraft. And very recently, I just, I've been told I have to start calling myself one. But however you play Minecraft, the beautiful thing about it is it's a sandbox game, right? So however you play Minecraft is the best way to play Minecraft, right? That's it's, it's it's what you put into it is what you get out of it. I played this game for 13 years. This is my all-time favorite game. I love Minecraft. I'm never going to stop playing Minecraft. Also, I don't think I'm that good at building. I like cutting my teeth on technical stuff. I like building crazy farms. This whole building thing is definitely not my cup of tea. It takes skill to have builds look good, though, like the cathedral. Oh, my gosh. You know how long I've worked on that cathedral? That didn't just come about. That took so much play time. And, like, I've... I, I, you guys haven't even seen, like, the amount of time I just sit there and stare at it and go, I want to change this, or I don't want to change this, or I want to change this, or I don't want to change that. I'm telling you, just start putting blocks down and then build whatever you can build. Been playing Minecraft for 12 years and haven't gotten bored. Exactly. What's the point of Guardian Farms? So, Kira, Guardian Farms give you Guardian Drops, which allows you to craft blocks like Prismarine, so Prismarine Bricks. Prismarine, it also lets you craft Sea Lanterns. It's also a really good source of XP. I appreciate you asking to join, but it's only a single-player world. I'm the only one in here. So, it's just everything you see in here, besides very, very few builds from the early beginning life of this world, is all done by me. No problem, Kira. I try to, I don't have an answer for everything, and I'm, you know, it's cool, 13 years of playing this game, and I'm still learning new things. Cat, thank you for the follow, welcome. Ah, I didn't mean to break that, give me, put that back. I still learn things almost weekly about Minecraft, like these little mechanics that I've never known, that like change how I play, it's super, super fun. Dominic, Adrian, thank you guys for the follow. Yes, yeah, Dominic. Welcome, guys. Am I able to join you? I appreciate you asking, but it's only a single-player world, so nobody's joining it. I'm the only one in here. I appreciate you asking, though. I'm flattered that you want to join. Garrett, thank you for the follow. Cohen, thank you for the follow. Adrian, thank you for the follow. Welcome, guys. I almost jumped right back in where I just fell in. Java or Bedrock? This is Bedrock Edition. One of the few and proud Bedrock streamers. Plastic cookies, thank you for the follow. Gravity 3, hey, I didn't take fall damage. Gravity only counts against me if I take fall damage. So Java is coded on JavaScript. Bedrock is cover coded on C plus or C sharp. So it's basically the code that Minecraft's on, which affects game mechanics, spawn rates, and little things here and there. Java is definitely more a creator friendly platform uh, but it's also only on PC, so there's a bigger player base for Bedrock, but more creator sponsor, like creator support for Java. And I played Bedrock because I've played Bedrock Edition forever. Like I started playing Minecraft when the Alpha came out, and then as soon as Minecraft came out on PS3, I switched to that, 
And then obviously along the the journey of Minecraft on console, it became Bedrock Edition. Before the end update. Luke, thank you for the follow. Huston, thank you for the follow. Da -da -da. When I drained an ocean monument, it felt so empty because I didn't know what to put inside. I'm going to have to figure out how to detail the end of side. Would you say Java is more advanced than Bedrock? I think they're... I think they're very similar. I really do. There's certain mechanics in one that you can't do in the other, but that goes both both ways. Like there's there's tricks to each. You can have a PC and play Bedrock or Java. It's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, so I am on PC right now playing Bedrock Edition, which tends to throw people off. Elias, Chance, Austin, thank you guys for the follows. Kira, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Next update. Never did it again. How do you get levels so fast? And do you ever get bored? I don't get bored. The biggest advice I can give anybody on taking on like long-term projects is don't do one project at a time. I see so many people like they just try to do this crazy outlandish project that's going to take a hundred hours and they try to do that and only that. And of course you're going to burn it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Redstone works completely different on Java versus Bedrock. Yes. Redstone is very different. As a bug rock player, yes. And I affectionately call it bug rock too. But then again, there's definitely some bugs I take advantage of in a, in a survival sense. A lot of this world works on duplicated gravity blocks, which is definitely a bug and not a feature. Dakota, thank you for the follow. I play better rock on my laptop, just like better rock because I used to play on my phone. Exactly. When Java features, you, uh, TNT duping. Pretty much the only Java feature I want is TNT duping. And, well, and TNT 100% drop rate. If we had those, I would be so, so happy. And torches in the left hand would be nice, you know. You know, I'm pretty much used to always having a totem in my left hand, so I don't use... Nether roof building would be nice, too. But no, no, my big, my big holdup is, man, I would love TNT duping. Hopefully, this is lit up enough to block mob spawn, but I'm going to do the top, too. I don't see anywhere that mobs can spawn. Maybe uh, as I fall. Sweeping edge would be lovely. Yes. Nether roof building would be lovely. Josh Allen plays Minecraft. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Now I can see why I use blue carpet. Yes. So I'm just going to run around a bit. I don't see anything spawning, which is a good sign. Again, it's throwing me off that... In case anybody's curious, I don't have night vision on. There is a conduit underneath the temple, which is giving me night vision because it's raining. Will I be making a new world? Maybe. Considering. Usually, I do about two, two and a half years in a survival world. I pass the two-year mark in this world, and I'm, I'm starting to itch for a new world. I, I really am. I'm starting to, starting to think of, like, ooh, I can... You know, do this and do that. I'm, I'm itching for it. Kansas, thank you for the follow. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I need to pause and fix my music. Cam, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I should stop asking so much of my poor, poor PC. All right. Now I can hear my music. Can you guys hear the music or is it just not working? Bryce, Macy, thank you guys for the follows. Two, li two years real life time. Yes. Uh, the two year anniversary of the world was February 2nd. Could have done light blue. I could have done light blue. I like the dark blue because of how much it stands out. Can't hear it? All right. Hold on. Hold on. I hear music. I don't hear music. Uh, I love TikTok sometimes. And I've already complained about it, so I'm safe. Let me do this. And do this. And then do this. And do this. And then this, and then this. Hopefully it's working. Maybe a new world at 20k. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mr. Potato Head. I can't see what your name is, but it looks like a Mr. Potato Head emoji. Thank you for the follow. So it should just be low. It's more for my end. I like playing with music in my ear. It just makes playing more comfortable. Thank you, Tan. Robert, thank you for the follow. Do you stream only on TikTok? I don't. I split my streams with YouTube. So if you're on the TikTok side of the stream, you guys are able to, and you miss a stream, you can go back and watch it on YouTube. 
It's very yeah. quiet. Yes, it should just be lingering in the background. That's the idea. I need to craft more sea lanterns. But at least in here is very bright now. All right. Well, I'm thinking of that. Oh, what's the recipe for sea lanterns? I haven't done that in a long time. First of all, we're going to do this. Do, do, do. And then we're going to do this. And 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 that. And give me a stack of crafting tables. There we go. Is that an actual ocean monument? Yes and no. You have a lot of shulker boxes. Yes, I do. I live out of shulker boxes. I carry most of my storage on me. If you have an audio mixer, you can split the audio between stream and headset. I do have that. But again, I like the music. All right, anyways, getting distracted. I need to craft sea lanterns. Sea lanterns are... One, two, three, and four, and then one, two, three, four, five, and here, and craft. Just refreshing memory. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and like that. And thank you for the follow. Welcome. What is your least favorite part of early game Minecraft? Dying to mobs. <laughs> Dealing with mobs when you have no armor is incredibly frustrating because I'm, you know, usually I stress to get a totem as fast as I can. So dying early game to mobs is super frustrating for me. Did I miscount somewhere? Oh, I did miscount somewhere. What other games do you play? I've been playing a lot of Dragon's Dogma. That's been a big one for me lately. Uh, been playing a, a decent amount of... Oh, I just totally forgot the name of it. Helldivers. Can't forget the name of Helldivers. Do you have a moss carpet farm? Yes, I do. So, that's probably one of the older farms in my world. One, two, three, four, oh, five. I do have a moss carpet farm. They're very, very helpful for spawn proofing. This can go back. Actually, take this mess out. Just throw it in here for now. Empty shulker box gets picked up. Thrown in there. Grab a new shulker box. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I they're they're not ruining raid farms. What they're doing is they're making them more difficult. I'm I don't agree with it, but from somebody who definitely exploits a very fast raid farm. I understand why they're nerfing raid farms. I get it. I've been trying to get them to make content for Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> I don't know. I streamed it the other day. That's actually the longest stream I've ever done is the day Dragon's Dogma released. We did like eight and a half hours. It was ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That was such a long stream. I love Helldivers. I huge huge fan of hell divers my most popular video ever is a hell divers video it's got a little over i think we're just at three million views right now my most popular video i've ever dropped on tiktok was like mid 200 thousands and i just blew by that with a hell divers video just let us keep the super overpowered farms they got to challenge us somehow don't worry there's still going to be ways to exploit raid farms Exploiting game mechanics is what Minecrafters do, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're still gonna... Oh, Helldivers is the best game for its price I think I've seen in years. I, I don't know the last game I paid $40 for and had as much fun as I had. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I will say this... It runs out of content when, when you max everything out. So I've gotten everything. Done hell dives, have all the shit modules, stuff like that. So it's like now I'm at the point in the game where it's I have everything. So when they release new stuff, it's cool. But until they release new stuff, it's kind of like 
I need something else for enrichment in my game. Who? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Will you stream Helldivers one day? I've streamed Helldivers several times. They do add a ton of new stuff, right? Like the, again, it's they do add it, but when you already have the renown and credits bought up, and then here, and there. that's as much as I'm gonna craft for right now. So this should keep me stocked for a little while. That's empty. That's empty. Break these. What level? I'm 50. Skull Admiral or whatever it is. Tiny Tina's Wonderland was the last game I really enjoyed. I'm I'm having so much fun in Dragon's Dogma, but it's just a difficult game to stream because one, it's an RPG-ish game, and watching our other people play RPGs isn't necessarily the most fun thing in the world. It's not like Minecraft, or it's you know kind of unique. The it's hard to. That's I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I do them every once in a while. What is Hell Divers? It is a FPS that just came out, like a survival FPS. Alright, uh, I'm losing sanity a little bit. Alrighty. Nope, that does not go there. That goes right there. Give me this. This goes right here. Okay. Hi, Yezel. Oh, I think I pronounced that right. Illuminate Recon Armored Tanks. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff. I know, and as new... I played last night with the new, you know, machine gun and then the new shoulder cannon launch thing. And it was a ton of fun. And then, then I just stopped because I wanted to go play Dragon's Dogma. Thank you, Birdie. I appreciate it. Why composters? So comp composters used to reduce lag a long time ago. They don't do it anymore from what people tell me, but it's still a habit for me to put composters on top of my sorting systems. I don't think I'll ever be able to break that one. So I think everything should be spawn proofed. I'm going to take out the tower. Just to add that last layer of sea lanterns. Ow. Ow. Do, 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 do. Uh, I just put this away, too. Uh, 64 should be enough. That should be enough. But yeah, composters used to slow down lag. I don't think they do it anymore, but it's still habit. I have no idea. That's just, that is what I'm informed by my chat when somebody else came in asking about why I did composters. I don't know. It used to reduce client side lag, so that's why I did it. I don't know if it still does, but it's force a habit to do those now. Or a coal mine. I think I'm missing a comment there. I swear they make the useless changes. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I'm, I don't want to talk about. Oh, that that noise is uh, guardians getting ground up by the trident killer. Get my XP real quick. So that grant is a trident killer killing the guardians that this farm is farming. It's not that they made it reduce lag. It's the, yeah, that's why. I. You got it right there, Birdie. Alrighty. So we're all lit up in here now, so I can probably get rid of my torch spam. I don't see the need to have torch spam in here anymore. The compost minister hoppers didn't check. Yeah, it was something along the lines of that. I think that was the thought behind it. Was it made it so it wasn't constantly checking for items on top. Won't ever get over the villager changes. Yeah, the, the villager change is brutal. I'm still not a happy camper. I can't... Bl <laughs> Again, an update. I understand. I get it. I get it. But you didn't need to. I got all the enchants for my librarian villagers. Will the update... It shouldn't affect existing villagers. It should only affect new villagers in your world. Don't quote me, but that's what I've heard. So, never has an update changed trades like that. It might be too dark in here. I might need to keep torch spam. Or I just carpet all of this. That also could be the route I go. They're, they're, it, the villager changes are way too extensive to kind of like dis, like cover in one 
shot, so if you're interested about them, you should probably go look them up. I fell straight through on YouTube. I want to find the most scenic place in my world and build a Walmart. Those are something I uh, made my library at Trading Hall before that. Good, 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 good moves. No, I, I love those memes on TikTok. I'm like, oh, wow, look at this amazing seed. It would look so great with a parking lot in the middle of it. That's honestly one of my favorite trends on TikTok. I have to finish the dirt. I know, I know. And the never-ending list of I have to finish. What are we building? Biscuits? We're kind of working on a bunch of little things here. Kind of just working on a bunch of little things in my world. Nothing too crazy. We added some light to the, you know, temple here. Kind of messing around with it, seeing what we see. And I really hate this, so we're not doing this. <laughs> Give me this. Have I played Dying Light? I have not. Can we bring back what? Ru Ruby? Did you do anything special with your dragon egg? No, it sits in the penthouse. I have a penthouse build, and my dragon egg lives in the penthouse. Is there a way to make a totem farm? Yeah, it's called a raid farm, and they're about to be nerfed into the ground. So if you're going to make one, I recommend making one soon. Raid farm is about to be nerfed into the ground. Still going to be doable, but definitely nerfed. Show us the penthouse? Sure thing. Just let me get rid of all this torch spam first. I'm curious if it's lit up enough where I don't need this anymore. I thought... So they're getting uh, rid of bad omen. That, so instead of just killing the pillager captain, now the pillager captain is going to pillager captain the guy with the banners on their back is going to drop a potion that you have to drink to get bad omen. Yeah, so you can do exactly what Nate is suggesting. Suggesting if you put it into like an auto brewing setup, you can have them turn into I don't know. Do they drop as splash potions or do they drop as regular potions? Because that's my hold up concern is if they drop as regular potions, you're just going to have to bind a key and just have them throw into your inventory to constantly drink them. Drinkable potions that can't go into a brew stand. So the only way around that is you would have to have like an open hand with your player character and have them constantly be drinking. So you would lose the effect of a looting three trident killer but you'd still get the raid, so it'd be rough. Again, it's definitely going to nuke the rates, but it's not a complete death. I'm not happy about it. I'm not defending the change, I'm just saying. Auto clicker, rubber band around controller, exactly. Give a tour. So if you want a tour, there's a full one available over on YouTube. You guys are more than welcome to go check out. So annoying. It is very annoying. Again, totally understand why they're doing it. My raid for I have double chests worth of totems. I haven't died in, you know, two years in this world. Simply because I one of the first farms I built was a raid farm. I get why they're nerfing them. I understanding it. Free leads, yes. Free leads didn't spawn with llamas though, so I don't know where the free leads would be. Uh, I am divided on 1.21 to be completely honest with you. I'm I don't like the armadillo. I get why the armadillo people wanted, you know, their puppies to be safe. And from someone who plays late game Minecraft, I haven't had the use of a Minecraft dog in a long time. 
But I get why. I get it, right? Early game players get Minecraft dogs. Really, unfortunately, a lot of what Minecraft sells is they try to sell features for early game players. Uh -huh. Right? And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, again, all the power to them. It's people voted. They That's what was voted in. I'm not going to argue it. But Minecraft likes to add features for the people who play a couple weeks a year, a couple weeks every six months. Because that's who majority of their player base is, right? So if you're like a real late game player like I am, armadillos have zero effect on my game and, and how I play. Now, I voted for the crab because extending your block reach is a fundamental change to Minecraft. That's awesome. It blows my mind that that did not win. It really, really does. But again, I understand why it didn't win. Yes. And there's there. I think this is a little bit more organized now. This is kind of what I wanted to do. Just come clean up the ocean monument a little bit. I want to get rid of this too. Crab claw would have been Zach. Thank you for the follow. Max, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I missed anybody's follows on my little rant there on 1.21. The armadillo won the mob vote. That's again. But it's what people wanted, because it, it gives dog armor. And again, understand. Completely understand. I, again, I don't know why they couldn't add all three either. Uh, you see what modders can do to this game for free, and uh, the highest selling video game of all time can't do it. Is what it is. Angel, I'm doing good. I am, I am doing good. Playing around at the Guardian Temple right now. Just gonna go out here and see if anything spawned, because it should all be bright enough that nothing other than free leads, but they spawn regardless of light level. Dog armor is useless to begin with because it still died to a creeper. They did increase dog health and increase dog armor. So they did add more to their defense. Dog armor is better now. Is it I don't know how I'm gonna light up this back area it is better now is this seeable yet yeah, is so i'm gonna rip out this whole thing right here it is better now but it's still not it i'm actually gonna do this i want it like that okay pikachu i please i appreciate you asking but it is just a single player world i'm the only one in here yeah, it's much nicer to be able to fly through the portal. How do you feel about the hammer? You mean the mall or whatever they're calling it? I think that's cool. I think that's a pretty cool addition. Uh, I don't think I'll use it. I think that'll be, you know, something cool that I'll get. And I'll max out its enchantments and then I'll never use it. The mace, yeah. So the update has not come out yet. It, the updates will come out simultaneously for Java and Bedrock at the same time. They'll always update in tandem. I think it's cool. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I, I don't... I don't... Our best guess is June. They have not released the official date yet, to my knowledge. But yeah, that should light up back here. Jeffy, thank you for the follow. Armadillo is being added... Oh, wouldn't surprise me. I mean, we're in 1.2070 right now, so... We'll see. Again, I think Minecraft's really struggling lately. I don't know. It, it's it's the yearly splurge, right? Like you'll see a, it's it's your casual Minecrafters who play for a few weeks a year, who are gonna drop the new update, load into a world. They probably won't do half the stuff in the new update, but it's enough to draw them back in. Maybe spend some money on a realm, spend some money on some skins. You know, that's really what it is. Anthony, thank you for the follow. How do you make it show the enchants? It just does it automatically? I don't know. I didn't set it. 1.20.8. Okay, well, we're on 1.20.7, so soon. Corns, thank you for the follow. Microsoft being a money grab? That's crazy. I mean, I'm a Sony player. I really can't talk too much shit about Microsoft with the, the predatory stuff that 
you know, Sony does. I can't talk too, too much smack. Evan, thank you for the follow. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna decorate down here. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I'll just fill in the giant hole of dirt that's been left here. They gotta allow us to turn off the enchant lists on tools. Of all the things they need to fix, I'm not too worried about seeing the enchant list on tools. I have a 15 hour bus ride on Tuesday, so I think I'm gonna transfer your world to Switch. Do it. I'd recommend it. Like I said, when I'm you know doing other stuff, I play this world on my phone. I'd say go for it. Jose, thank you for the follow. How do you build like that on Bedrock? When I went on Bedrock, I couldn't do it. What do you mean build like that? Like build in front of me? Like this? Or just build in general? I'm trying to figure out what you're asking. Yes, uh, I don't know. You just look in front of you in place. Can't figure it out either in front of me. Maybe you have to enable it. What device are you guys on? Do you have Swift Sneak? Yes. Swift Sneak is probably one of my favorite enchants. Will, thank you for the follow. Click or click is on Bedrock. You're on Switch. I have no idea how to enable it on Switch, Danny. I'm sorry. I have no idea how to do that. PC, it's pain. Thank you for the heart puff. Appreciate you. You need to be a certain distance to build the blocks or place it just below. Okay, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Thank you, Will. I try my best. I try to answer everybody's questions. Toss, thank you for the follow. Swift sneak is something you know you don't know you need. I know, right? What's up? I'm doing good, Star. How are you? Wish they'd add a smelting enchant for pickaxes, but that would make too much sense. I think that would be a little too much, Nate. That, I, I get what you're coming from, but they just gave us the ability to fortune ore blocks, like iron and copper and all that stuff. I think that's fair. Ooh, what does Swift Sneak do? So, this is crouch walking without Swift Sneak. Like, I'm crouched right now and I'm walking, you know, like I get up to the edge, you know, can't walk off the edge. I have Swift Sneak on my pants. Put this on. This is the crouch walking speed now. So I'm crouched. Still won't walk off the edge. But this is what Swift Sneak does. How to transfer your world from Xbox to your phone. So what you want to be careful doing that. One, because it's going to take up a considerable amount of uh, size on your phone. But if you're trying to move worlds around and you're on Bedrock. What you want to do is download them to a realm. Like, you get a free one-month realm from Microsoft. So if you haven't used it yet, everybody should have one. So you sign up for that, put the world you want to transfer onto that realm, and then log in with the same Microsoft account on the device you're trying to get it onto, and download it to that device. What I do is I leave this world uploaded on a realm, even though I'm the only one in here, and I play single player, so that I can go onto my phone and still play uh in this world uh you find swift sneak in ancient cities it can only be found in ancient cities hi jesse we missed you the other day jesse realms also have backups yes they regularly back up how do you make multiple portals go to different world say so they can't go to different worlds they can go to different areas in your world if that's what you're asking and if you're interested on how to do portal linking if you look at my uh top of my tiktok page there is a video on how to do portal linking it can also be found in bastions didn't know that where are ancient cities ancient cities are found under mountain biomes like true mountain biomes not just big hills and they're very very rare but it's also where the warden lives so you'll have to deal with the warden. Did not know it could also be found in bastions. That's uh, I haven't heard that one before. Not calling you out, Jenko, but I might need to Google that one and check. 
So, Creed, I'm just spamming them right now because eventually I'm going to moss carpet this whole thing. But for now, it's just torch spamming just to block it. How do you automatically refill a stack in your bar when you run out? So that's called, that's an option called Pick Block. Pick Block is in all versions of Minecraft, like Bedrock or Java, Switch, Console, all that stuff. All you do is say... Actually, I don't have those blocks in my inventory. So let's see. Say I want this Prismarine that's in my inventory, right? I want it in this open hand. You look at Prismarine and you click Pick Block and it pulls it out of your inventory. So again, put this in my inventory. I want some Prismarine, pick block. Pulls it out of my inventory into my hand. Miles, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Sean, I'm doing good today. How are you doing? I have it bound to clicking my scroll wheel. I used to have it bound to down on my uh, control panel, on my, uh, con yeah, control panel on my controller. Jacob, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I found an ancient city in a terracotta biome. So there are mountain terracotta biomes. They're very rare. Good for you. Jason, we're working on a bunch of little projects in my world right now. How do you bound it on PS5? You have to go into your controller options in settings and bind it there. Nope, not what I wanted to do game, and I think you know that. Ow, try to dick. Ow, the one ow. How did you get so many levels? I have over 20 farms that give me XP while I'm AFK. Bro, like a couple days ago, you were celebrating 1K followers. What? Uh, I don't know what that is, Selena, but okay. Settings, controls, pick block, choose a button. Yes. My iron farm worked for five minutes and then it stopped didn't know why did you do my design jesse or did you do your own i found one under a water area i don't think i would know now i gotta figure out how to get home i'm gonna take some stuff out of here i want this to go with me your design do you have any workstations or beds in the area because you may have accidentally linked a villager to a non area it's very fidgety when you built your iron farm where there are already beds or workstations where you built it that could be screwing it up so it's I, I think it's 80 blocks so when you the iron farm design I have so wherever you build it uh, has to be 80 blocks away from another bed, another workstation, until all the villagers grow up and then pick their workstation. If you build your iron farm where there's already beds and workstations, there's a chance they won't pair to the workstations in the farm, therefore they can't work, therefore they can't gossip. So that's why whenever I'm in a new area, I build the iron farm there before I put other stuff in the area. Do you AFK a broken iron farm? A lot of times they fix themselves. Yes. So that also can work, Jesse. Just maybe AFK for a little while and see if they repair to their workstations. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate that. And then No Name, thank you for the follow. It didn't pop up. And Murph, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I don't need the TNT. That can stay here. Sand can stay here. I don't really care about much of this. I'll take these. Thumbs up, Max and Tank. Thank you guys for the follows. Kind of want to take... I don't really care about dirt shulker boxes either. These can all stay here. Just collecting the stuff that I leave everywhere. Where's general resources? Here we are. Obsidian does not go there. Da -da -da. Tris, thank you for the follow. I have came, came back the same amount of iron, so I think it's the beds. Yeah, that, that would be my guess, unfortunately. Is you want to make sure that... You want to make sure all the villagers in the farm grow up. And Madden, you haven't missed much, man. We're just kind of picking away at little things here and there. We did do some lighting work on the... Uh, lighting work on the temple to prevent mob spawns. That's about all we've done. Let me know, Jesse. And if you have questions, go ahead and ask them in the Discord. Even if I'm not live, I'll try to help you work through them. I'm not great at checking YouTube comments, and if Loris is in here, I apologize. It took me almost a week to get back to you on your YouTube comment. 
I want to take torches with me. Occasionally, I will use torches. Hey, man, I've been watching since the start. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, KJ. Hope you had a good birthday, man. Let me know if I can help you troubleshoot at any time. How long are we staying on for? Uh, I don't have an ETA yet. Just kind of vibing and working. Having dirt underneath looks weird, right? So the plan is... I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I'm going to extend out the dirt platform 10 blocks in each direction. And then I'm going to cover the entire thing in moss. And then do like the modern fence style around the outside. So this looks like a raised compound for the temple. Can we get a flyby? Tank, there is a full 6,000 day world tour available over on YouTube if you want to check it out. Made all of this in survival since day one. That's empty. We'll leave the empty one here in case they need it. Hi, Terry. That can stay here. Kate, thank you for the follow. And then I think these are just junk. Yeah, these are all junk. I do. None in there. None in there. So we're going to hit this box. And 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 then, oh, I moved my crap table over here. And then this. And then this. How did you get the name Kinger? What is my most act question? Is it Bedrock or Java? <laughs> that is by far the most asked question in the stream. Uh, so Kinger was actually my dad's nickname in high school and then uh, college through him. So I inherited it from him. What is my favorite armor trim? Uh, silence, but I don't have it. I have not found silence yet. Okay, so we're going to take this all back to spawn. This is as much as I'm going to do on this today. I'm going to go get the XP out of it. Just so that I'm not leaving a huge amount of unclaimed XP somewhere in my world. Also, free leads. What are you doing here? You aren't selling anything I need. Show the penthouse. Alright, we'll show the penthouse. Gotta go to Stardew. Storage first. How did you get your profile picture on a picture frame? It's a map. It's a 128 block by 128 block map art. I was busy decorating my bee storage farm and bake potato baking system. Didn't see you come on. Well, you're here now, Terry. That's what matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know everybody has silence, but poor old me. Actually, I'm not going to this part. I'm going to this one over here. User, thank you for the follow. I gotta find. Dude, I have raided eight or nine ancient cities and not found it. I don't think it's happening. I know if I do start another world, the first ancient city I raid will have silence. I do. I have a farm for just about every item in the game, Ross, and I don't think my honeycomb farm's busted. I don't know any reason why it would be. Wolfie, thank you for the follow. At this point, it's personal, pretty much, right? These are all down the same tunnel over here. Use a seed map. Uh, here. Is this cyan? Yes, cyan. Sweet. That makes that easier. Alright, next time I do a project, somebody remind me I do not need to craft chests. I'm starting to accumulate a lar large amount of them, and I don't know what I'm doing with them. Silence is an armor trim. And one of the only ones I don't have. So, like, this is... What is this? This is the Vex armor trim. And you find these all at different Minecraft structures and stuff like that. I'm missing Snout. I'm missing... Ah, uh, it's a Trail Ruin one. It's tip of my tongue. Razor. And I'm missing Silence. So I have three Silence trims. Or three armor trims I have yet to find. That's what I'm waiting on. Alright, I did promise that we would go to the penthouse. We'll sleep in the penthouse. That's fair. I also did not need to go into the nether hub to go to the penthouse. <laughs> User, thank you for the follow. How many days in the world? A little over 6,100. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. Can you show your honeycomb farm? Sure. So let me sleep real quick. I'm going to have to shut off the little space heater that's going down here. It's getting warm. What's everyone doing tomorrow? I am going out to 
lunch with my family. We're going to have a nice, large family outing at a restaurant that I'm not allowed to know the name of. Uh, nope, this is Vanilla Vanilla Survival. Not even any shader packs enabled. So this is the penthouse, by the way. This is what we refer to. And this is where I keep my dragon egg. So this stays up here with my bird and my dog. LOL, why aren't you allowed to know? I don't know. That's just what I was told. I'm picking up my grandmother tomorrow. And apparently it's her and my mom are surprising the rest of the family with where we're going for dinner. Or going, really, it's, it's not dinner. It's... They're calling it dinner, but it's eating at 2 in the afternoon. It's it's lunch. No, this is the penthouse. This is probably the only pretty build, like interior build, I have in the world. Also, very old build in the world. This is from, like, the first thousand days. Un untouched. I was, I was contemplating changing it, like, last stream or the stream before, and I caught flack. I will find out tomorrow. <laughs> Lunner or Dunch? I forgot. Oh, yeah. We got to go look at the bee farm. I'm going to fly. You know, I haven't flown there in a while. I'm not going to change it. I'm leaving the penthouse alone. I'll leave it alone. I'm leaving the penthouse alone. Don't worry. Ooh, that was real zoomed up there for a second. I kind of want to destroy the old villager trading hall. It's been sitting there for a long time. How do you keep a day count in Bedrock? So you need to make a copy of your world. Once you make a copy, then you load that copy in creative mode and type in the command time or slash time carry day. And it will let you know. So I have no idea if this is working or not, but this is the bee farm. I mean... I, I think it's still working. I mean, I don't use it for much. But it's still producing honey and honeycomb. Hi, yeet. I never actually noticed how I know my hair is long. I need to get it re-cut re back. I need the sides cut down. What are those blue plants? Oh, those are pitcher plants. Those are ancient seeds that you get from the sniffers. When I use dispensers, they split the honeycomb out in all directions instead of straight. So I have a, I don't know if you can hear it, but I have a minecart that goes underneath all the way out to here. So very once in a while, the dispensers will push the honeycomb all the way out to here. So that's why I have, it's hard to see, but there is a minecart going underneath to collect everything. Like it's, eh, let's see if I can get an angle on it. But yeah, I have a minecart that goes underneath it to avoid that mistake. This. Nope, I can't. You're doing amazing, Yeet. I'm glad. I grab that. Put that back. Uh, place. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so these are pitcher plants. What project have I spent the most time on? I don't know. I have many, like, many, many long term. I would say if you count all the cumulative time on the Nether Hub, probably the Nether Hub, the biggest farm I've ever spent time on is probably the Blasting District. And the biggest build is probably the cathedral you see at the bottom of the stream. That's what that big building is. Yours is kind of foolproof. We use silence design, which is perfect for bottles, but not combs. Yeah, I I did that just because it was missing. But yeah, these are pitcher plants. You get their pitcher pots, whatever they're called. You get them from... So this is the pod. The, that's the plant. You get them from the sniffers. And they don't do anything. They're pretty, but they don't do anything. These guys find them. Somebody's looking for one. Let's see if we can... Goodbye. Anybody going to find a plant so we can show everybody what it looks like? Somebody start the digging animation. Your nether hubs are mega... Why is that one named Dad? It's, I don't think there's a Dad one. There's Billy and Tim and Reginald. Oh, this one is named Dad. I think there used to be a mom somewhere. Oh, there's Monica. Rosa. This one doesn't have a name. This one doesn't have a name. So, not many of you are from the streams from last year. 
But I used to stream like once a month here and there, and one of those streams was the 1.20 release where we got snippers and then I let people name them, and that's just kind of what the names turned out to be. I should make my next world in creative. I don't like creative Minecraft. I really don't. I can play for maybe like an hour if I'm at. Besides building farms and testing redstone, I, I don't like creative mode. Dehane, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Nobody's going to do the sniffing animation so I can show how you guys find seeds. I don't I don't think so. I'm doing good, Elian. How are you doing? All right, well, anyways, these are sniffers. They go around until they find ancient seeds. Then they sniff them up. And then there's a minecart going... There used to be a minecart going back and forth. It's stopped, apparently. That collects them, and then they end up in this chest here. I'm going to have to make a new bow here soon. I have returned. Welcome back, Sage. Do, 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 do. Do where are one of you? Can put this back for now. Let's get out of my way. This should not be here. That should be there. This should be here. Where's the rail box? There's the rail box. Oh, no minecarts in it. Okay, give me this box. Eight iron. Give me this box. I have so many hoppers. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that. Give me one of these. And one of them. Place that there. Out of my inventory. And then one of these. Alright, now let's go fix our little break. Goodbye. Well, yeah, so normally there's. there's, there's <laughs> from the look of things, there was a whole bunch in that one. I'm gonna go for now, but I might come back later. Alright, I'll catch you later, Ross. Where is your dragon egg? My dragon egg is in my penthouse. Yeah, so that had some stuff in it. But yeah, that will run back and forth, and when it gets back to here, it'll drop that stuff off in there. I can go back in there. This can go back in there. Break these. Break this. And in order, armor goes back, then orange, then two red, and then craft table. I'm... <laughs> Thanks, Connor. But yeah, so normally... These guys will sniff up plants like that. The minecart goes around and, you know, gets them. The one annoying thing about these seeds is they have to be planted on, uh, like, crop blocks. So I have this, like, grid system to plant them. You're doing better than me in creative. I just, I, you know. What do you use these plants for? These plants are useless. They really are useless. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the 1.20 update. Besides armor trims, I'm not a big fan because these didn't change Minecraft at all. I mean, this thing's called the torch flower, right? It's literally the name of the plant. It does not emit light. Like, that would be have been such an easy win for Minecraft to have a plant that emit light. But they're just, they're literally just pretty. I mean, if you want, you can turn this one in. I think it's like cyan dye. Yeah. So if you wanted cyan dye, you can use this very difficult to get item to get cyan dye i mean i collected them i made a big field of them i have not used them for a single thing kind of a useless addition to minecraft they really are i mean the sniffers are cool but they just didn't do anything dot thank you for the follow Alrighty. i was busy decorating my bee farm yeah so the bee farm still works that's why we came over and then asking about the map. It's right over here. Where do you find the sniffers? So you find the sniffers by locating underwater warm ocean ruins. And then you have to use the brush on suspicious sand and get lucky. That's how you find them. They're very difficult. I'm not good at finding things in this game. Anyways, yeah. So it's not a clip art. It's an actual 128. Uh, I do have a YouTube. It's, it's King or Ivy. And this is, yeah, so it's a map art. It's not a clip art or anything I've added in. It's literally a 128 blocks by 128 blocks of wool that comes together. 
We have officially reached the point of the stream where Kinger loses his mind and flies around the world. We're early today. I'm only two hours into the stream, but you're not wrong, Wyatt. You're not wrong at all. But yeah, I mean this. So yeah, so this whole thing's a map. Hi, Paige. Good. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So I got the, is it carpet or wool? It's full blocks of carpet. The idea was to do full blocks of, or full blocks of wool so that if I wanted to do other map art, I could just do the map art on top of it. I don't know why I did it that way. Austin, thank you for the follow. What flying machines do you use for the bamboo farm? I, I, I have no idea. I don't even know if that, <laughs> I have to jump out, have a good stream. I'll catch you later, Jesse. Homie, how we doing, man? Kinger, you've gotten bored that fast. I'm not out of it yet. Do, do, do. I'm just running out of low-hanging fruit to work on. Any of these farms need to be worked on? Uh, I don't think so. We relinked the portals. We updated the guardian farm. We cleaned out the end. Uh, ba -da -da -ba -da. What else do I got? That's not... Raid farm's gonna be outdated soon. Don't need to touch that. Cory. Is it full, full blocks of carpet? I'm based. It's full blocks of wool. What is my hardest build? It's probably the blasting district. And I'm not gonna go there, but if you look on my page, it's like farms I can't live without. That's, uh, that's the one I'm referring to. I don't know what I want to work on. And before you say it, no, I'm not doing a pillar. But I don't know what I want to work on. It's kind of kind of did the, the busy work that I needed to do today. Two pillars. <laughs> I was literally typing pillar. See, I know you guys. Too quick with it. What will be your first complex so... I'll tell you this. I already know what my next, the next thing I want to focus on in the next survival world is, is I want to take all of the crazy farms I've built, right? And kind of do what I did like over here. Potato man, I would continue building farms. So like I have my industrial district over here, right? And the whole thing is built on glass and spawn proofed. And I love this. I fell. I love this area. I want to do this even more aggressively in my next world. Like, I want to make a 128 block by 128 block multi-layer industrial area and make every farm I've spread out across my world, minus like the unique ones, like the, the guardian farm and like a witch farm. Those, those are like dependent on where they are. And build all of that in like one... Why am I making a new... I'm not making a new world today. It's not like it's happening today. I'm just saying that's my cycle in Minecraft. It's usually it's about two, two and a half years in a world before I move on to the next one. This one's over two years old now. So it's... it's. I'm already thinking on moving to a new one. So it's... The thoughts have entered my brain, honestly, for a few weeks now. Ray, thank you for the follow. But yeah, can't have thinking about But yeah, so I think really what I want to challenge myself in my next world is is to build like an industrial area on like steroids. Like 128 blocks by 128 blocks, like layer upon layer, all the way up to like build limit, and then have all the different farms in it. Cam, Hart, Xander, thank Drain, thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, so again, and it'll be kind of cool when I do start a new world is everybody will be there for it. So like I had this world long before I started streaming. Uh, what farm would you recommend? I would recommend building yourself a gold farm. This is not Java. This is Bedrock Edition. This whole world started on a PS5. I'm going to sleep in a bed. I probably haven't slept in in a like, thousand days. Build a giant pizza. I'm only missing a couple advancements. I don't have Sky Trader. So I don't have trade with a villager at build height. I don't have that one. And I don't have the collecting all the armor trims one. Shot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. What's the difference between Java and Bedrock? Java is coded on JavaScript, and Bedrock is coded on C Sharp or C++. 
and it, uh, you should surface an ocean monument. Do we like Xander's suggestion? Can't wait for the new world. When do you think you'll start it? I don't know. It's going to be sooner versus later. We like, we like Xander's suggestion, huh? Xander, I like your suggestion. <laughs> Definitely surface an ocean monument, right? That'd be a cool idea. You can finish the random house. I can finish the random house. Do you remember where the random house is? <laughs> I, I don't remember where the random house is, to be really honest with you. That was a very long, sleep-deprived stream. I don't remember where that is. I did not make a portal. I never portaled to where that house was. I, I, I kind of know. What's the name of the rabbit over there? Hops or Jumpy or something? My bad, you wrote the coordinates down. Oh yeah, that's even like less helpful. Hold on, where's the book? The book's over there, give me one second. Where's the book? Mr. Bunny. You guys remember the stuff that I don't remember. Oh, I have so much crap written in here. Yeah, I don't, that's, I'm never going to find that in that book. Sir Jumps a lot. I think it was Mr. Mr. Bunny. Legacy Crafted. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I think I know where it is. I know it's behind old, behind storage. That would be my best guess. I have a rough direction. I think I can find it. The question is, do I have any resources left over there? Pretty sure I stripped everything out of it. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Uh, let's go see. Yeah, I remember where it is. So if I fly over storage, and it's like this should arch this way, and it turns into like a taiga biome. And if I fly along the taiga biome, it should... We look for a snowy peaks, and then if we find the snowy peaks, we should find the random house I built. How's Hamlet doing? He's chilling. So this should randomly turn to the left here at some point. Yep. And then I know if I go off like there should be islands right here and is this a snowy peak there's the snow there it is okay yay i remembered where it was a random house off in the distance with mr bunny hi mr bunny there you go mr bunny how you doing buddy because of you, I started a new survival. Oh, awesome, Thanos. I wish you luck. I left a crap load of stuff here. Good to know. You didn't accidentally make him into pork chops? I did not accidentally make him into a pork chops. All right, here's the question, though. Is, Ethan, thank you for the follow. I don't remember where I... I will, Tan, I will. Thanos snapped his fingers and started a new world. Good one. All righty. This build does feel like it was forever ago, doesn't it? This was like a real sleep-deprived 1 a.m. build, if I remember right. Uh, I think I brought a whole bunch of resources over, and I did. Okay. Give me this for now. Do, 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 do. I made a funny. You did make a funny. I'm starting a new world with the update. I think I'm gonna, if I do start one, I'm gonna start it before the new update drops. Because I don't want to deal with villagers. I'm gonna prioritize getting uh, the villagers things taken care of. Do, do, do. We're all cross-eyed and fighting for our lives. Something like that.
So you're really making the, they are making the village of trades much much harder. They really really are. Please make a cake in Minecraft, like an actual cake. Can I just go buy one from my villagers? I have no idea what this build is going to be. This was this was definitely a sleep depraved stream build. Trust the process, by the way. I know this looks horrible now, but trust the process. If something makes you go cross-eyed looking at this floor, definitely does. Ugh. I don't know what your name is, but thank you for the follow. Welcome. Who wins farthest away today? Started a world with my buddy and forgot. Happens to the best of them. I cannot tell you how many Minecraft worlds I've started with friends and never gone back into. I'm trapped in here. That was not the correct way out. Uh, like, it's just how some Minecraft worlds end up, right? Hi, Kennedy. How are we doing? I don't have any more in my inventory. So good to know all of those placed the wrong way. Because I just held down and let it place. Good to know, I bet all these did too. Yep. Like, make my tool. Oh, sorry. I miss Charlie, 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 Charlie. Do you know how I can get netherite now? I can't figure it out. I normally play an older version. Netherite, you want to mine at level uh, 15 in the nether. And then you want to get the netherite. It's called uh, ancient debris. You get the ancient debris, and then you smelt that in a furnace to get scrap. Netherite scrap. And then you take that scrap and combine it with gold. And that's what allows you to get... Uh, your netherite ingots and then you combine a netherite ingots with the netherite upgrade in a tool well, I don't know what the thing's called off the top of my head a uh, the tool smithing bench with a netherite upgrade to upgrade your diamond tools to netherite what's the best level for diamonds diamonds in my I'd say diamonds if you're using a tunnel bore two above bedrock if you're mining one above bedrock like, if you're using a tunnel bore, two above, because it allows you to, like, optimize what you're getting. But if you're just doing it, like, normally, then you want to do, like, one above bedrock. If you look at that distribution graph that Minecraft sent out years ago when they changed the levels, the lower down you are, the more you'll get. And I have nothing that contradicts that. I'm talking about, I believe... Like, make my tools and armor netherite. Yeah, so you use a smithing table with the netherite upgrade that you get from the bastion remnant in the nether to k turn diamond tools into netherite tools. Josh Allen's alter ego. Can you give me an idea for a house to build in your survival world? You can build one like I'm building. I have no idea how I'm doing this. I'm just kind of winging it. Also, just winging it is a emote, I think. Love the rain. There are so many steps now. There are so many steps now, aren't they? But that's that's Minecraft now. We just they make things more difficult for no reason. Just winging it. There it is. They changed the process to make things netherite. Yeah, they changed it a little while ago. Now you now requires a netherite upgrade template in order to upgrade things to netherite. Genuine question, does this not get really boring? Not really. I mean, definitely I play other games to help, you know, 
make it less boring, but I really love Minecraft. Like, games like Call of Duty bore me when it's the same thing over and over and over again. So, games like this don't, because it's different. How big is the biggest base? Probably... Uh, the image you see at the bottom of the stream is... Ow. Is my cathedral project? That's probably the biggest build in the world. Can you stop raining, please? Anytime now. Thank you. How long did it take? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, the cathedral took a little while. I don't know the official time on it. You'd have to go back and watch the live streams to get, like, the actual duration of how long things took. I don't know off the top of my head. A while. A good amount. My boy just told the rain no. Something like that. Well, usually after you sleep, the rain goes away. Here's the question. So that's one off the end. This should be right here. And I fell. Do you know how to add more enchantments on tools? Because it always tells me it's too expensive. Uh, you can only have a certain amount of enchantments. So you used to be able to make what were called god armor and tools and stuff like that they took that away from us because again made too much sense and did i not bring torches i did not bring torches okay uh, where's general resources please don't work have you found any templates i have all the templates but snout uh i can't i lit hi shit yep Whose idea was it to work on this house where things aren't spawn-proof? New project. This was a fun time filler. We're moving on. Oh, and Mr. Bunny's dead. Mr. Bunny ate it at some point. I have no idea what killed Mr. Bunny. But Mr. Bunny is gone. <laughs> R.I.P. Peace. Uh, okay. R.I.P. Mr. Bunny. What is the best farm to make for beginners? Probably a... Uh, uh, I need my brain to work for like two seconds here. A gold farm. God, I can't think of words. I'm dealing with the trauma of losing my best good bunny. Losing our best good bunny friend, and then... Oh, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Hello, sorry. Frame the hide and bury the rabbit. That's, that's the idea here. Da, 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 da. Justice for Mr. Bunny. I don't know what kill. I'll make Mr. Bunny into an emote. I don't know how I'll make Mr. Bunny into an emote, but I'll find a way to make Mr. Bunny into an emote. I don't like how it's doing that. That's bothering me. I have an idea. Doo -doo -doo. Well, Mr. Bunny gave us something to do in the stream. I'll give, give him credit for that. He sacrificed himself to give me a busy project.
There we go. Pay our respects for Mr. Bunny. R.I.P. I have no idea what killed him either. What's up, Randy? He just turned around and he was dead. Uh, already, okay. Probably a wolf. I, a wolf or a fox, I know. What are the setting calls you don't have your... Uh, that's called pick block. I joined at a bad time. I know, right? You know, if we'd never come over here, Mr. Bunny would still be alive. He died doing what he loved, being hopping around tied to a pole and being fed carrots. Actually, give me this. Doo -doo -doo, give me this. Man lived with golden carrots, so this was part of Mr. Bunny's stuff. This was part of Mr. Bunny, and then this goes on the pole. All right, R.I.P. Mr. Bunny. You can have some carrots in the afterlife. R.I.P. Mr. Bunny. Connor, thank you for the follow. At least he had one. <laughs> yeah, flew over here, gave him a carrot, and then he got smoked by something. I don't even know what got him. Like, there's no wolves or foxes anywhere around here. I don't even know what got him. R.I.P. Mr. Bunny. Alrighty, we're leaving this area. One, because I need more carrots now. <laughs> and this way. Bedrock? Yes, Bedrock. What's your least favorite thing that Minecraft has added and taken away? The sniffer is useless. Never needed to add it. Rabbits eat dandelions. Welcome back, all-stars. Finish the house king. Don't let his death be in vain. I literally just got a sniffer and they make it so hard. They're so hard to get, they don't do anything. They're awful. All stars, I remember you. I remember your profile picture, I think. The blue and the pink is. got me. House tour. I don't really have a house house. I have the starter base. Thank you, Miller. We're gonna have to get a Josh Allen tally going, because that's at least 10 times this stream alone. Alright, we need more golden carrots. Desperately. So we're going to do a golden carrot mission. That's the next thing. Because I don't think I have that many left. I don't. Okay. We're going to craft a rest in peace, Mr. Bunny. The penthouse starter base? Yeah, I guess those count, right? Those count. All right. So I top that off. Give me some more fireworks. All right. Let's go make... Do I have any gold here and carrots here? I have not. This is survival since day one. Okay, so I have do have a little bit of gold. Do I have a little bit of carrots? This will be a very short journey if I already have... Okay, I need more carrots. Odds are, too, I have not afk the crop farm in so long that I bet you I don't have any carrots. Just a little bit of gold. I have more than that. Katie, thank you for the follow. That's just what I have in storage. Why not beef? Because I'm making golden carrots. But yeah, let's check the crop farm first. I don't think I have carrots at the crop farm. I really don't. And dive. There we go. Zoom in. And do we have any carrots? 59. That is not a lot. Oh, aha, I do have some. That is also not going to be enough, but whatever. Give me this. Give me that. And food. And 72 golden carrots. <laughs> this should... I probably should AFK this thing some more. I don't want to keep... 
having to run out. Nether hub, yes, I just didn't use it. How old is the world? The world is a little over two years and I have a little over 6,100 days. All right, so put these carrots back for now. You know, I'm gonna leave this gold here because this is pretty much all this farm gets used for is gold. This stuff can just stay here. Here, oh, that's emeralds. This is food. Da, 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 da. How does it all work? Kind of like Josh Allen. Nether hub, yes, good bars, but they don't give you a boost. So golden carrots give you saturation, really. And to be honest, I really only use golden carrots because once I started streaming, everybody's like, "Why don't you use golden carrots? Why don't you use golden carrots? Do you know how good golden carrots are? Why don't you use golden carrots? Why don't you use golden carrots?" So now, due to peer pressure, I use golden carrots. I would normally use cooked chicken because I have a cooked chicken farm that has been running forever in this world. Bedrock. What Y level is your nether hub? Dead set through the middle of the nether. Also, this is what I'm underneath, right? by the way. Hi, Kirkland. Is This is a uh, crop farm. A villager-powered crop farm. So I have one guy doing bread for me. I got beetroot, even though I don't think I've ever used beetroot for anything. And I think potatoes is over here. And then I have a bunch of modules doing carrots. Why Bedrock? Because I've played Bedrock since 2013 when Minecraft came out on PS3. So I've played for a very long time. Knight, thank you for the follow. So that solves our food issue for now. Landon, thank you for the follow. Love my gold farm. Yes. I know your crazy gold farm. Who is Mr. Bunny? Mr. Bunny is a, is a is nothing but a memory now. He's a memorial in a shallow grave. <laughs> You're putting those villagers to work, yes. Well, Mr. Bunny died, we've been looking for something to do after that, yes. I'll never understand why people don't like Bedrock. So I don't I don't know. Both are great. I have about a thousand hours in Java Minecraft. It's just not what i use i mean i've more people play bedrock but java's easier for creators so a lot of people see their favorite content creators streamers youtubers all that stuff play java so that's just the version that they go towards also this is the unlimited gold farm it's just a portal based gold farm i'm not doing a pillar not doing a pillar no you can all vote for it. Won't happen. Hitmaker, thank you. Bedrock is harder. Uh, it's different. I don't know if harder is the right word. Different, I think, is the right word. I need to run this thing at some point. Pillar is from a project that I have long since abandoned that my chat loves. How effective is the farm? Pretty decent. I mean, it's you know takes care of all my gold needs. Yes. Bridging in front on Bedrock is super easy to do. <laughs> me, me, me. You got, yeah, you guys can all vote. It ain't going to happen. Yeah, you know what? Rent, or, uh, I don't know who called it about an hour ago, but yeah, this is definitely the point in the stream where my sanity starts to slip a little bit. I do not stream on Twitch. I stream on YouTube. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I found this during the world tour. Uh, I have 120. It's usually what I keep it set to. I want to know what's in this chest. We kind of came down here and looked at this during the world tour, and I didn't even know this existed. I don't, there's nothing cool in it. That's unfortunate. I thought there'd be something cool in here. Do a pillar. Come on. Oh, eggs. I know it was in this one. Do, do, do. And then this is a skelly spawner. Okay. This world is a little over two years old, and I have a little over 6,100 days in it. Yeah, but it's good to chip away at the projects I want to do, not <laughs> the ones I don't want to do. Missed it. Missed it. 
Thank you. What even is a pillar? So there was a project I started undertaking in the end dimension. And part of that is tearing down the pillars in the end. Aha. Nailed it. So 6,100 days, Minecraft days, not, uh, not like real life days. Two real years I've been doing this. I've never done uh, not like 61 real days. This is how I really want to do my stream recap like this. I couldn't do this. I See, I did this accidentally, and I'm never going to be able to do that again. Work is calling me. Let's just not do that today. Chuck, thank you for the follow. What is the first thing you make, like, in a new world? Like, if I was going to start a new world, what would be the first thing I'd make? I would make an iron farm. That would be the first thing I would make. Well, I'd make a, a hole with a bed and a crafting table. But then I'd start making an iron farm. No work calls on non-work days. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But I'm not clocked in, and it's after 5, so I'm not obligated to answer. Seventy-two days in Minecraft is twenty-four hours IRL for those. I don't know. What's your math? Your boss? He's in. He, he's been in the stream before. He's commented. I have coworkers who come through the stream, which is funny. How do you know how many days you've been playing? So you make a copy of your world, and when you make a copy, you are able to load that copy in Creative, and then. Type in the command slash carry day, and it'll tell you exactly how many days. 606 for you. See, that, again, for those who are like long-term viewers, like this spacey part of my Minecraft streams also comes from the fact that I'm definitely itching to start a new world. Because when you ever start a new world, I have like a progression checklist of things I do. I'm at like the end of the projection of the... 74 days of Minecraft is one whole day in real life. Uh, 6100 divided by 24 minutes. So it's 254 days in this world. Real life days. 24 hour periods. But that's also not counting every time I've slept through the night. And about a third to a half of that is AFK time. Maddie, thank you for the follow. Chloe, thank you for the follow. What about the checklist on the whiteboard? That's all for the... Or actually, what is on there? Brown mushroom farm. I could do that. And I need a new moss farm. Could do that. Could do tunnel bore. What do we have? I kind of want to do the brown mushroom farm. That sounds interesting. I don't know what your name is. Thank you for the follow. Can we not thank you for the follow? Minecraft server tour. Did that a couple weeks ago. I don't want to do two of them right back to back. Pillars. No. Uh, Poe, Kyle, thank you for the follow. Hey, did you make a Cory? I did. Do do do. Netherite beacon. No. Um, <laughs> how to build a gold farm? You're gonna want to Google that bad boy. Raining page. The the portal based farm I use. There's like a million tutorials on YouTube about it. Can you see the Cory? Can you show the biggest build? The biggest build is located at the bottom of the screen. Do do do. Favorite farm. This dripstone farm, I, abs I I could not live in this world without this nice little dripstone farm behind me. My absolute favorite farm. You should fight a wither. I can go fight the warden. That might be more fun. Dripstone is uh, just for a lava farm. It's the only thing I use it for. <laughs> No, it's just me being sarcastic. Wait a minute. Are you trading hall security? What are you doing in here, pal? You're not supposed to be here. Excuse me, sir. You have a job and a duty. It is not in this tunnel. You are coming with me. You have abandoned your post, soldier. Come with me. 
Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. We go this way. Hopefully there's nothing behind here so I can pull you into the portal. Did you go into the portal? You did. You can lead golems? Yeah. Make a warden farm yet? I have not made a warden farm yet. Excuse me, sir. Your duty is to the trading hall. You are not allowed to go on adventures. I did not grant your PTO request. You need to report to the front office. Come with me. This is bedrock edition. Come with me, sir. Your job is to guard these villagers along with your foxy friends. Please take your job seriously, sir. Moving on. You are trapped in the pool, because you guys always get trapped in the pool for some reason. Get you back to your job. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, you're free. Get us back. There we go. Let's go rest. You know, there's a bunch of trading hall security, and they're probably all stuck. I appreciate the... My farms don't work on Bedrock. It's very important... You make bedrock farms. On, he's about to go back into the pool. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Salvador, thank you for the follow. Angel, I appreciate the ask, but I'm pretty much just a solo player. Excuse me, sir. You need to come with me. You're in an unsafe environment. Let me get you this way. Thank you. He's got a mission to complete. I don't remember how many of these I made. Oh, I missed a bunch of things earlier. Payne, thank you for the heart puff. Kyle, thank you for the rose. And Angel, thank you for the rose. I don't know why those didn't come in. They just came in all at once. Or slabs on top. All right. So there should be four guards. One, two, three. Do not go through that nether portal. Do not do it. Do not. There's no way, right? <laughs> Come here, dipshit. <laughs> you can't make that up. That's funny. All right, that's pretty funny. Not going to lie. That's pretty good. Come with me. You're going inside. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, that's funny. You cannot make that up. That is too funny. Let's go rescue him. On today's epi episode, watch Kinger argue with Iron Golems. You're not wrong, Wyatt. You're not wrong at all. Does any buildings or your... Uh, I do all my own designs. Right, let's go get him out of the nether again. <laughs> you cannot make that up. Nate, thank you for the follow. Oh. Hi, buddy. Come here. Emma, thank you for the follow. I need you to... Oh, you're going to have to take out your... Oh, I love love dealing with... <sighs> Axel Laid, thank you for the heart me. Appreciate you. Come, come in here. Come in here, buddy. Go in there. Beans, thank you for the heart me and the bracelet. Clip it. I know, right? That might be the first instance of clip it we've ever had in the stream. You, I cannot let you wander infinitely. Come here. It's for their own good. They wander and then they die to nonsense. They wander and then they die to nonsense. <laughs> The nether has a better environment than his work environment. What? So when a mob goes through the portal, they have a certain timer before they can go back through the portal. They'll wander and go. They'll wander and go through a different portal. Exactly. So heaven forbid that heaven forbid that guy ends up somewhere he shouldn't. 
Hi, Beans. I know you're in here. Thank you for the team bracelet. And I'm falling through the world. Okay. Like, heaven forbid I come through this portal right here and he's in here. If he falls in lava, see, he could die. His family are the other iron golems guarding. We go back. Yep. Again, he has an important job of guarding the villager trading hall. Because there's nothing worse than dealing with villagers. You ready to go home? One likes swimming, one likes going into the nether. Come with me. Come with me. Alright, good. That's all. Lucas, thank you for the rose and the GG's. Appreciate you. Where did you go? There you are. Come with me. Didn't die, GG's. <laughs> Alright, All right, so one, two. See, here's his family. They're all... They're all working here. And then... Yep, that's all of them. Alright, everybody's inside and safe. Kinger, where is HR? I don't know. Maybe we can find the HR Fox. There he is. Come here, buddy. This is our trading hall security consultant. Hello, buddy. Jordy, thank you for the follow. What was my favorite thing I did in the world? I really like kind of like messing around in my world i really do if you can't tell it's like i'll do like huge projects but at the end of the day i kind of just like screwing around a little bit makes things fun i know i like this building a lot i don't use it very often i mean i kind of oh yeah somebody was asking about cake earlier cake How many names tags? I have infinite because I have villagers that trade for him. Homie, unfortunately, we lost a member of the community over at the house. Mr. Bunny did not make it, so we had a memorial and a grave for him, and we will not be going back to the house. So I am locked into survival. I do play on easy, though, so you can give me crap for that, but I do play fully on survival. What villager type? Does the name tag the librarian? Rest in peace, Mr. Bunny. One of these guys. I'm willing to bet Mending is maxed out. Yeah, so like Mending does name tags for 14 emeralds. RIP, Mr. Bunny. RIP. Just subbed on TikTok and YouTube. Keep up the funny. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Riley, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I don't know why YouTube notifications aren't working, but I appreciate appreciate you. LeBron and Mr. Bunny can be friends now. Should we send, uh, oh, what's his name to go see him? Oh, I'm forgetting his name. Hamlet? Do we want Hamlet to go meet his friends in heaven? Is that a Falcon and Winter Soldier capture? Yes. So it's actually a Halloween costume from this year that's like really, really comfy. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. Come with me, Je actually, Jellycat. You're definitely going to get into the nether, aren't you, Jellycat? I need this. These. Netherite beacon? No. Not, there ain't enough hours in the day for me to. Where are you, Jelly Cat? Alright, and then. Do this, and then. Do, do, do. Uh, lead. I need to heal some tools at some point. Damn. Come with me, Jelly Cat. Wait, you're on Bedrock? How do you do the custom map thing? This is a map. It's actually a map. 
It's 128 blocks of wool by 128 blocks of wool. 16,000 block, block, blocks of wool in total. Come on, Jelly Cat. Daniel, thank you for the follow. And into the nether with Jelly Cat. Did the lead go with him? The lead went with him. I'm gonna go get a panda. That's what I'm gonna go do. That has absolutely nothing to do with other things that are going on, but I wanna go get a panda. MB, Ashton, thank you guys for the follow. Come with me, Jelly Cat. Can you not go through this portal yet? We'll leave you right here for now, Jelly Cat. Sit. Stay. 16K. What are we at for 16K? What's. Oh, likes. Appreciate y'all. Already going for a panda Y stop there. I'm going to have to make my. Oh, you're talking about the wool. Grayson, thank you for the follow. You collected one of every mob. I haven't done that yet. I kind of just collect things as I collect things. Go on. Keep going. Keep going be able to go through the portal okay not yet okay we shall wait longer good thing is i know where to go to find a panda bear let's go find a panda Ow. this way lincoln thank you for the follow yeah that's what let's go get a panda bear wait Pandas can't go on boats anymore, can they? That's gonna be so hard. Can pandas still go on boats? Do people know if that's been changed yet? Can pandas still go on boats? Hi, villain. Corn, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I can Google it. Danny, Google it for me. I know that change is coming. We must go get that panda. It's actually going to make moving mobs a whole of a lot easier, or a whole lot harder, if I can't put them in boats. We're off to find a panda. Tour of the world, there is one up on YouTube already, you're more than welcome to go check it out. There should be a link on my page, or you can search It's King or IV on YouTube, and it should come right up. Panda time. That's a dumb change, I know. Pandas can't go sailing. Loading, thank you for the follow. You're talking to Google now. All right, now there should be over here a jungle biome. Oh, thank you for the follow. Lou, thank you for the follow. Is that a panda? Nope, it's a sheep. Here, yeah, pandas. As of July, they still can. Sweet. Beans, thank you for the confetti, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, panda, panda, panda. By the way, this is one of my favorite biomes in the game. The edge of jungle biome. Or whatever it's like technically called because it's flat. But it has like that really, really bright, vibrant green. Anything in here? I steal. <gasps> Kitty. Kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty that really, really isn't going to want to be put on a lead. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. Gotcha. With me. Ow. Beans with more confetti. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Kitty. Doo -doo. Yeah, no, it's officially the part of the stream where I've lost my mind. <laughs> come on, Mr. Kitty. We're going on an adventure. We'll come back for a panda. Isabel, thank you for the follow. Doo -doo -doo. Mr. Kitty, we need a boat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do cats take fall damage? Yes, but I think it's really reduced compared to what other mobs take. OK, 
Come here, Mr. Kitty. There we go. Mr. Kitty has been captured. Now we will. Perhaps you're hitting a wall. Maybe. Not there yet. Do, do, do. You should get a brown panda. I'm going to look for one. Right now, it's just it's me and Mr. Kitty. Name him Cheeto? Not a bad name. Horses have always taken fall damage. Do, do, do. Since when do I have a beacon out here? Okay. Alright, Mr. Kitty, you're going to live here for a little while. And then I will come back for you. Nailed it. I saw a brown panda once and it despawned. They're very rare. Alright. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'll keep this. This. On me. Alright, back to looking for a panda. Yeah, pandas. Panda, panda, pandas. The cat is going to despawn. It's in a boat. It should be fine. It's in a boat. Oh. It's it's the rare sheep panda. How long did this world take? Uh, the world's a little over two years old, and I have a little over 6,100 days. There's got to be a panda in here somewhere. Yeah, panda, panda, panda. Yeah, panda, panda, panda. Yeah, panda, panda, panda. Where are you? Oh. Oh, maybe? Or is that another elusive sheep panda? I think it's another elusive sheep panda. 6,100 Minecraft days. Yes. Hi, Cheeto. We just named a cat after you, Cheeto. <laughs> That's funny timing. We just caught an ocelot and named it Cheeto. Tis fate. Where are all the pandas? Pandas cannot fly. Here. This is a really cool, like, area. Here, panda, panda, pandas. This is a huge bamboo, by the way. Adam, thank you for the rose, man. Appreciate you. Does he only read TikTok chat? I try to read the both. YouTube, for some reason, is on, like, a mad delay, and I can never get chat to line up right but i try to do my best to read both uh both chats dude like is there like a panda epidemic right now where are they the palace from kung Fu panda it would look cool wouldn't it hey a hole in the ground no Ooh, a little faded action it's the first song i've read <gasps> Oh, another kitty. Where the fuck are the pandas, man? What am I doing, Is Cecilia? I'm kind of, kind of like losing it a little bit, but I'm having a fun time doing it. We're looking for a panda right now. I, I don't really know why I started wanting to look for a panda, but I'm looking for a panda. I want to do Jeb and Dinnerbone. Sup, buddy? How about we do a panda, then pink sheep? We'll never find... Oh. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Yes. This is, this is still one of the best things they ever added to this game. Do the little animation. That is still one of the best things they have added to this game. You... <laughs> like, that is just the best, right? Like... Are you a sick one? You don't have the nose thing. Now the real question is, sir, do you fit in a boat? 
Also, there's only one appropriate name for a panda. I just want everybody to be on the same page. Yes, he still fits in a boat. What can you do with pandas? So, you can, funny enough, you can make a slime farm with pandas, but this is more just to catch a panda than to make a slime farm with a panda. He really fills that whole thing up, doesn't he? Oh, it, it's going to be Poe. It's definitely going to be Poe. That's the only name you can name a panda is Poe. Hi, buddy. Yes. You are adorable. I do not know where I'm going to put you yet, though. I'm going to have to build a thing for you. I'm going to have to build a pen. It's a good thing I have a... Oh! Okay, hold on. I need two of you. This is important. Uh, this button, this button, this button, this button, this button, this button. I do this. And then I do this and this. Nope, not enchanted apples. Give me two of these. And then one right there. And this is Poe. I need a name. I need a name. Who's got one? Pan Pan? I like Pan Pan. So we have Poe, and I saw Pan Pans over here somewhere. And this is Pan Pan. Hi, buddy. You are coming with me. Can I? Can you not use leads on these guys? What the hell? That's new. This is gonna make. Don't go in the water, Pan Pan. I can't seem to use leads on you. That's super interesting. Come to me. Come to me. Come on. Put him in a boat. I, no, I'm gonna do that. I'm just saying it would have been easier to. Put him on a lead to get him back over there. Come with me. Yes. Yes, come with me. Can you put two in a boat? Yes, that's the game plan. We're going to see if that works. He is a regular panda. Yes. We will resume looking for a brown panda later. Alyssa, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Is this a little one? Might be a little one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! <gasps> Hi, little guy. You are adorable. We're gonna... Okay. Little buddy, I can't take you with me. I need to take Pan Pan with me. Okay, so yep, they both fit in there. Then I should be able to put a lead on the boat. Did it just... Oh my gosh, you are adorable. I can't, I can't take all of you guys. I can't take all of you. That is a double wide load right there, though. Damn. I love the iron farm tutorial. I wish you made more. I appreciate that, Cheeto. Also, it does not look like with these two beasts in here, I can put a uh, lead on the boat. Which is unfortunate. Don't abandon it. What do you guys expect me to do? We're thousands of blocks away from the house. You can lead boats. I know, but that, that's what I'm saying is I'm trying to lead the boat and I can't. Right? That's that's the hang up right now. Like, cause it, is it because there's two in there? Come on, little buddy. I need you to get into this so I can test it. So I can lead with the little guy, but I can't, I can't get the hitbox. Oh, I had it for a second. Okay. This is going to be an adventure. <laughs> Trying to get these guys all the way back. Okay. I need to undo the, this so that I can do something else. It's like I have to find the hitbox for the boat underneath there. <laughs> I need to find the hitbox. There it is underneath both of them and they're both units okay next on the list uh lucky i like lucky that's a good one actually i i have one i wanted another one
Poe Jr. Well, he's not Poe Jr. yet. Alrighty. I'm definitely going to need more leads. Put this stuff back real quick. Definitely going to need more leads. And I don't want to leave anything here that I'm not supposed to leave here. Alrighty. That goes back. That goes back. This is going to be awful, by the way. Jacob, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. This is not going to be a fun experience moving these guys. Alrighty. <laughs> Sam, murder. Thank you guys for the follows. Welcome, welcome. Actually, I probably should bring bamboo with me. Also, it's about to be nighttime. We're really... Hi, guys. Wait right here. I gotta go take care of something. Hayden, thank you for the follow. Do, 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 that's one. Yeah, sheepy, sheepy, sheepies. What about the cat? Oh, we'll find Cheeto later. Cheeto's in a boat near the portal. He's not going to go anywhere. This is going to be a nightmare to get them. The only way I can think of doing it is looping. Because there's a whole bunch of ocean. It's the only feasible way I can say getting them back. I need another sheep. Can you not take them through the portal? I can. It's getting them back to the portal that I need to prioritize. That's the... That's going to be the difficulty. It's getting them... Well, at night... Okay. Alright. Finding the boat hitbox underneath all of them. Come on. There's got to be a boat hitbox in there. Hi, thank you. Buckets? Could do buckets. There it goes. Okay. Come with me, you three. Come on. We got to get you to the water. If we get you to the water, things might be easier. I really wouldn't. It will not go well for you. Come on. Come on. We got to go this way. Right now, the only threat really is creepers. Trying to get him to the water. Oh, one of the leads already broke. And it's under the difficult one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Take this. Thank you. Alright. Solved. Okay. Back to it. Come on, you two. Let's try to find that lead spot again. You know, we're going to get you first. And we're going to come back for you two. Come on, Zed. Come on, buddy. Ross, we're getting pandas. I don't know why when I started getting pandas, but pandas. Put the two adult pandas in. Well, hello, Mr. Man. All right. Get in with Zen. Did Zen fall out? Nope, he's still in here. Okay. Now, this... Ocean, I'm hoping, doubles around and connects to the portal that's over there somewhere. We're going on an adventure. Bro wants to train the new dragon warrior. No, the new dragon warrior is like a fox thing. Or whatever. I don't know, whatever the new movie is. I heard it was terrible. I haven't watched it yet. Lincoln, I'm a work systems facilitator for a pharmaceutical and nutritional manufacturing company. I do corporate project management. Trevor, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Coyote, but yeah. Alright, we're going farther and farther away from home. I might need to fly around and figure out where I am. Wait, which way is home? Home is technically this way. It was a lot of words. Uh, it's corporate project management for a pharmaceutical and nutritional company. It is 6.40 where I am. I'm in Eastern time. All 
Alrighty, there's red sand. That's a good sign. I think... That, I think right there, is the mesa biome I'm mining out. Hey, look, a sea temp or a sand temple. I may know where I am. If I'm right, I know where I am. We're actually in a good spot. Uh, do you make any good money? I know I'll be just... I make good money at my job. I don't make any money off streaming. I do this purely for fun. Uh, so I don't I don't make like any sort of profit. I appreciate all the stickers and I have subscriptions enabled and all that stuff. But I mostly use that to like give back to the community. Like there's a bunch of other Minecraft creators on here that I like following. And I like the, the love you guys show me. I like to be able to spread that love out to them as well. You're back here. You're gonna take a break. Let my ear calm down. Okay, man. Yes, I know where I am. That's the awful farm that didn't work. We are close to a portal. Mr. Crafty and Nate and uh... oh, I'm trying to blank on his name. Now I feel bad. Dead Candy. Also, a couple other creators, uh, like Snazzy and Plato and them. You look Canadian. I'm not Canadian. Hi Jenna. Sorry guys, I'm normally better at reading chat, but I'm I'm focused. In... <gasps> he sneezed, little kitty. I'm very focused on what I'm working on. But this being said, I now know roughly where I am. So getting them back to this portal is much easier now. The only downside is I don't want to flood that farm. So we'll go in right here. Actually, stay here, little buddy. I'm gonna go sleep so that it is not nighttime. Exclamation point! Thank you for the follow. Perfect sense saves me time. Alrighty. How am I gonna get you in here, little guy? Because eventually we're gonna have to get the other two in here too. That should be easy enough. Then we go for a little ride. You are the middle child. I'm not. I'm the oldest. You will not believe what I built. What'd you build? Bucket of water. Could do a bucket of water, but then it's going to destroy all of this spawn proofing. All this carpet. Kill I didn't even notice your name, villain. I learned an interesting thing today. You know the only time you hear Killua's, Killua's footsteps the entire series is when he's trying to reach Gon, when Gon loses it. Now, the question is, getting you up to the portal will be interesting. I built a mansion, nice. I really, really, really wish I could put a lead on you. But, oh, I'm, I'm not a smart person, Zen. Be right, stay right here, buddy, be right back. Ow. I have not gotten the new hammer thing. Water bucket him up. I'm not. Build a divider so it won't break your carpet. I'm just going to use their natural attraction to bamboo. Come on, Zen. Come with me, buddy. Come on, buddy. We'll get you into the... We're just going to take this out for now. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. There he is. Come on, Zen. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. Now, I need you. I need to be able to place this boat down. And you're just going to hang out here for me while I go get your parents, okay? And let's get rid of all of this junk. I do need to get a separate boat, though, because we're going to need... What 
to have one nearby. Yeah, there we go. Baby. Yes, a baby panda. We rescued Zen. There's so much junk out here. Alrighty, that should be enough boats. Zen, I'll be right back with your parents. So, we follow the water back. So we sailed this whole ocean. There's the sea temple. There's where we mine through. Where's Poe and Panpan? Pan? They are over here. We opted to get Zen there first, and then I'm following the water streams back to get them. They should be, like, right here. Which they are. Okay. I need to get them into separate boats, though. That's the issue right now. Alright. Disclaimer! If one of these pandas dies accidentally while I am removing them from the boat, I take no responsibility on building a memorial for them. It is just how the cookie crumbles. Okay. That's not a good sign. Ow, you little shit. That's fair, though. That's fair. Are you going to be aggressive forever? No? Okay. Get in a boat. Okay, that's one. Get in a boat. Now we go on an adventure. Don't punch them. It happens. My name is based off another streamer. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the M8. Add that to the bingo card. What are the blue flying things? The blue flying things are called allays. They're super, super helpful mobs. Leave the other boat while you're in that boat. I could do that, couldn't I? First, though. Come with me. Come on, 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 come on. I have, I have zero idea what I'm going to do with these two, by the way. I, I don't know why the stream turned into this, but it turned into this. Hey, man, I'm bored and I don't know what to build. What really... Go capture pandas. That's what I'm doing. I was bored in Minecraft, now I have pandas. That's a recommendation. Bring some food before I go. Okay. Right, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Is this silk touch? It is silk touch. Give me some melons. I don't really need melons, but... I'm gonna figuring I'm gonna have to build a pen for these guys, so. How long have I been playing? Aiden, I've had this world for a little over two years, and I have a little over 6,100 Minecraft days in it. All right, come on, team. Come on, team, I am on bedrock. Come on, we got this, team. We got this. We got this. Almost too far. We got this. Actually, I think these guys are gonna go where, like, the beacons are. If I'm being honest with you, I think that's where I want to put them. I want to build like a pen where near like the axolotls are and put them there. I also want to make a... I have a huge melon and pumpkin farm. Now you're going to make Kung Fu Po Dojo. Do, do, do. Alright, we got to remember where our left turn is. I think it's all the way out here. I have a question. What are the games you play? So, thank you, Brock. I play a lot of Dragon's Dogma lately. I've been playing a lot of Helldivers. I uh, used to play a ton of Apex, but I just, Apex, just not it for me anymore. Have you collected all the mobs? I've collected a few. I kind of collect rare ones, and then just randomly collect other stuff. Like, this is this is not a planned thing. This was like, I'm just like, eh, you know, let's, I want to do something. I'm going to go collect pandas. <laughs> do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I'll build them a little habitat. Probably should get some vines, too, but I have a vine farm, so I'm not worried about that. Welcome back. 
I'm thinking about collecting every mob and putting them somewhere. I don't know. You should do it. I mean, it's a fun task to do. I do know about the brown one. I do. Do, do, do. What are you doing now? Losing my mind. Callie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. If that guy back there, he's just, he just, he just chilling. Sitting up and chilling. I do have a farm for just about every item in the game, yes. Cruz, thank you for the follow. Anna, thank you for the follow. Welcome. All right. Here's the trick. Can I get that guy back there through the water tunnel? Come on. Did he make it? He made it. Sweet. Let's keep going. Is this Bedrock or Java? This is Bedrock Edition. Try to get the hammer next. So I'm not playing any of the snapshots right now. So this is vanilla Minecraft as it sits. Come on, Poe. We have secret ingredient soup or noodles. You just got to stick with me. Secret ingredients and a secret ingredient soup. How do you make Java look not old? This isn't Java. This is Bedrock Edition. Oh. The dangers of playing in third person. Melon and Pumpkin Farm. King of POV. It's Bedrock. I thought you said Java. No. You said you're on Bedrock. I've been looking for an iron... Bando, if you want an iron farm that works great, I have one on YouTube. I can't promise you it's the fastest, but I can promise you it works and it's very easy to build. So if you're looking for one, there's one iron in my YouTube channel. It's also pinned in the link tree in my bio. No problem. Make sure you watch it all the way through because you need to build it in a certain way. If you don't, you'll run into some issues. Bando, thank you for the follow. Dot, thank you for the follow. Ava, thank you for the follow. Welcome, everybody. I just noticed your level is 399. It was like 403 until I started name tagging stuff. W, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We got to get a count on how many times he says Iron Farm. That's going to be a lot, right? Do, do, do. What are we? What am I doing? Losing my mind. <laughs> All right. Come with me and you'll be in a world of panda fascination. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anybody watch the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? It, and it wasn't Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, was it? It was like Wonka's origin story or something weird like that. It's bad? Okay, good to know. Why do I play Bedrock and not Java? I've played Bedrock for way longer. Wonka, I really like it. So I've played Bedrock for a very long time, so it's just the version I'm most comfortable on. What's up, little guy? See. Actually didn't mind it? Okay. I mean, it, it's mixed things. I didn't know it was a musical. Alright. Give me this. Right. How long have I been playing in this world? Uh, I've been in this world for a little over two years. Oh, you look sorry, buddy. Come on, hit me. I know you want to. Okay. Come on, Pan Pan. I have not seen Dune 2 yet. I want to. I hear it's really, really good. Come on. Come on, Pan Pan. I even give you. Come on. Ooh, I'm jealous. I haven't eaten in a while. I probably should eat soon. I had breakfast and nothing since. You're munching down on that, huh? Come on. You can lead pandas? No, you can't. No, you can't. I wish you could. I don't know why you can't, but you can't. It's super annoying. Trust me. <laughs> I am a big fan of Marvel and uh, Star Wars and all of that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. Good. I need this. build a star destroyer in the end my pandas died yesterday i am very sorry to hear that all right that one is captured time to ca bring the last one in all right buddy you and me po
Come on, Poe. Yeah, that's your boy. Come on, buddy. Marvel or DC? Oh, Marvel for uh, movies and such. Oh, the recent Marvel's been horrible. But Marvel normally for movies, DC for like animated movies and comics. What are you actually doing? This is actually what I'm doing, is I'm capturing pandas. Oh, come here. Oh, come on. A little bit further, buddy. A little bit further. A little bit further. And... Captured. Alrighty. Now, do I move them back first, or build them a pen first? That's the question. There you go, buddy. There you go. And there you go. I don't know. If, can baby pandas eat? They might not be able to eat bamboo just yet. What is the farm? This is a rabbit farm. Believe it or not, this uh, farms desert rabbits for rabbit's foot and like rabbit leather and rabbit meat. That's what that is. Poor bunny. Eh, it's, I need the farm. Poor bunnies is probably right. Okay. So, again, raises the question. Is, do I build the pen first or... Move the pandas first. I think pen first, then come back and get the pandas. That way I have a place to put them. I think that's probably the best way to go about this. But I think we're going to take Zen with us. And zoom. Bree says yes. Aiden, thank you for the follow. Bedrock or Java? This is Bedrock Edition. Okay, I forgot I have to do this annoyingness. Okay. Zen has gone through. Let's go get Zen. Oh, not too long. I mean, I have a netherite tunnel bore. Makes things very easy. How long did it take me to get Mending? Not, not very long. I mean, usually the first enchantment I go for. Mending's incredibly important. Hi, buddy. Let me put you in here. And then we bang a Yui. What is my favorite song? There's no way I'll ever be able to say that. I listen to so much music. Right now, I've been listening to... What's my top song right now, Spotify? Hold on. My top song on Spotify right now is Smoke and a Light by Old 60. My top song right now. You know Blink-182? Of course I know Blink-182. Oh, come on. I forgot about this. Alrighty. Zen, I gotta take you out of this again. I'm push you a little bit forward, buddy. Okay, sweet. And then this process begins. What's your favorite genre? Oh, country music. Not even, not even close. I've listened to country since I was a little kid. I've always enjoyed the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Me too. It's one pixel. I know, right? It's so annoying. Favorite Blink-182 song? Ooh. That's difficult. Uh... I don't know. The only one I really know is all the small things. I just looked them up on Spotify. Hinder's great, too. Why do, the pan Why do you have pandas in the nether? So I'm using the pandas in the nether to move them to different areas in the overworld. We're on the spiritual journey with... Oh, he grew up! I was going to say our baby panda, but, but Zen is now full size. Have you ever died in the game? Uh, probably once or twice two years ago, but I've had my uh, totem of an... Or my, raid farm for so long you know what not gonna lie this is about probably as far as i can move this guy just for right now what's the best hinder song 
You know how hard it is, like hard it is to like name a song off the top of your head. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I'm a big fan of All American Nightmare. I really am. But Get Stoned is also one of my favorites. Caught a wolves. Thank you for all the. Oh, Jelly Cat, you might be ready to go to the apartment, to the penthouse. You ready to go through the portal? Nope, apparently not. Jelly Cat, I'd really like you to time in and so that I can take you to your new home. If you wouldn't mind soon. Welcome back. So is it... I've been playing a world for a couple weeks, trying to get like yours, but I work and go to college. So I've played Minecraft like three times a week, maybe, and I'm falling. And I'm in the wall. And I don't even know where I am now. What the fuck? Um. Okay. So I only play a couple times a week, and more or less, I prioritize farms that AFK for me. So when I get online, I want all my farms to already have my resources ready for me to just go, to grab them and go. Kinger, I know, this is a random hole in my wall. All right, where do I want to put the panda enclosure? Because I want to put it here somewhere. Because we have the axiolotls, and I want to build a bigger axiolotl aquarium at some point. I'm thinking, like, right here, build the panda enclosure. You know, it's kind of like its own little spot over here. To be honest with you, Ross, I'm getting ready for a new world here soon. I've already been thinking about it, and I don't want to commit to a huge project like capturing all the mobs in the cathedral because I don't want to get halfway through it. That's that's the big thing. A new I'll tell you guys right now, confirmed, a new world is coming. I don't know when it's going to be here, but I'm itching. I'm getting ready for one. Those beacons, thank you. I'm, I'm itching for a new world big time. Alexia, thank you for the follow. Oh, Stormy leaving? Oh, bye Madden. Sorry, Madden's leaving. Catch you later, Madden. This will be enough for now. Do it before they change villagers. That's also the thought process, right? Is I'm definitely itching and ready to, ready to change. And I want to do it before they do all the villager nightmare stuff. But I'm already thinking it. It's, it's... I don't know the, when, but it's coming. See you, Madden. Like as much as I love this world, and it's been one of my favorite. I don't think it, I don't think this is my favorite survival world, but it's been a really good one, so I have no complaints. Oh, uh, Trevor, you should look up the villager changes because they're they're brutal, and you can see why it'd be important to get a new world started before the villager trades come out. Alrighty, so I'm thinking I want to make it a decent sized enclosure. I kind of want to make it square with this wall. So like that'll be one corner. And then this will be a corner. And then let's just say here. That is not Josh Allen. <laughs> Stormy, is that on the bingo card? Isn't the Josh Allen thing on the bingo card? I think it is, right? That's one of them. Yes? Okay, that's what I thought. Do you mainly only play solo worlds? Yes. The only multiplayer Minecraft I really do is very occasionally when my uh, friends will pick up, like my IRL friends will pick up their two weeks a year Minecraft addiction, I'll start a new world with them. But they'll only play for a few weeks and then it'll be out. I wish it was the whole bingo card. Yeah, if the Josh Allen thing was the whole bingo card, you guys definitely would have hit it today. 
Uh, it's brown mushroom, sugar, and a spider eye. I think so. I think it's brown mushroom, right? Might be both kinds of mushroom. I don't know. I know it's mushroom, spider eye, and sugar. What am I about to build? I am building a enclosure for our pandas that we just captured. So I'm gonna build a little, you know, spot to have our pandas. Brown mushroom, just brown, okay. Yeah, it's spider eye, brown mushroom, and sugar. Now that I found your streams, I'll be watching while playing now. Oh, awesome, Trevor. I'm glad. There is no bigger compliment to a streamer than saying you can watch their stream in the background while playing other games. There, That is like my favorite compliment to get. Michael, thank you for the follow. Oscar, thank you for the follow. Give me this. Give me this. Give me one of them. Give me one of you. Three stacks of you. We'll just put it over here for now. In your next world, you should try to keep your builds in close proximity. So, 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 ooh, I already, I already have the idea for the next world, right? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a 128 block by 128 block area that I'm going to build all of my farms in. All of them. I'm not going to space them out here, space them out there. Nope. Every farm I build, I'm going to build inside one Minecraft map. That being said, like, witch farms, you know, guardian farms, those are like need to go somewhere else but yeah won't that lag we'll see if it lags too much we'll we'll not do that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ooh, only need nine hey luke so i have 30 farms over there and there's no lag and those are not optimized farms at all Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's your motive to not quit a world? Uh, I really like seeing how far I can push the game. Hi, Stormy. Welcome to the YouTube side of the stream. I really like seeing how hard I can push a world. I usually do about two, two and a half years in a world before I make a new one, and I'm about at the end then. Won't know until I try it exactly, right? But like this world, I, I've done a lot already. So there's not a lot new to do here. I do. So I have a farm for almost every single item in the game at this point. The only farm I don't have is I don't have a warden farm and I don't have a brown mushroom farm. Uh, there is. So you can buy them through the Minecraft store or you can get Render Dragon. And I don't know. The only one I have is the RTX one, but I can't even play in it because it's so laggy. Uh, but it's great for taking screenshots. That's a, that's a YouTube question. That's not a Kinger question. What is Render Dragon? It's like a third-party site that allows you to download mods and stuff like that for Minecraft. For, like, PC. I don't know if it works on phones and stuff. I do have a raid in Total Farm. Again, I have a farm for almost every single item in the game at this point in the world. Uh, more people play Bedrock. So Java is definitely more friendly to creators, and it's great if you're on PC. But Bedrock is everything else, right? It's your Switch, your phone, your consoles, you know, your tablets, all that stuff. So I started this world on a PS5. So I will always have a special place in my heart for, you know... Bedrock Edition, because it's the version I know the best, so that's the one I'm going to play. I really built this on a bad spot. How can I find the Nether Fortress pretty quickly? I mean, they're not hard to find. Really, I've never struggled to find one, so usually it's just run around, live until you find one. 
I don't want that to sound like not sympathetic. I prefer playing on a controller because the controls are easier. That's fine. I play on keyboard and mouse. I think I played on a controller for a very long time. And I switched to keyboard and mouse and there was definitely a learning period, but you know, I'm very comfortable on keyboard and mouse now. I played on keyboard and mouse on my PS5. Sometimes it's all you gotta do, Kinger. <laughs> How do I have so many levels? Uh, I don't die. I have a lot of farms that give me XP while I'm AFK. So there's not a lot of risk to my life. I I'll even go far as say this. Ever since I created the emote for popping a totem, I haven't popped a totem. So controller, yeah, of course it is. What's the best farm? That's the best farm in the game is an iron farm. Iron is used in the most crafting recipes in the entire game. Iron farms are the most important farm in the game. Slide explosion, thank you for the follow. What is the best XP farm? Early game, a portal based gold farm, super easy to make, gives you decent XP. It allows you to set yourself up with like a piglin bartering farm too or like bartering with cleric villagers so that's pretty good if you're really getting after it you can build yourself an enderman farm or a guardian farm those are pretty good i mean i have an enderman farm i don't barely ever use it i prefer my guardian farm but you can also build yourself a drown farm there's a bunch about to be a whole lot of new copper blocks so drown farms are actually going to be like really important again I mean, once you use your drown farm to get a bunch of tridents, you don't really need a drown farm anymore. Because up until now, copper's been pretty much a wash as far as usefulness. So this world is very technical in some of its builds, and my PS5 would crash all the time running it. So unlike Xbox, Minecraft is still running... Minecraft on PS5 is still considered the PS4 version of Minecraft. So pushing this world to its extremes on the PS4 version on a console that wasn't a PS4 was just giving me a bunch of issues. And I have a gaming PC that I've been using as a streaming rig since I started this streaming thing. And it is a gaming PC. I mean, it's got an i7 with a 3060 Ti, so it's made to play video games. And I was just using it as a streaming rig, so now I play Minecraft on it. When this world is done, you should make a YouTube video about all the best and most useful farms. I think that counts. I have a... There's two full world tours up on YouTube now. When this, when I am done with the world, though, I will figure out how to do a world download. That way you guys can all, you know, see it for yourselves if that's something you'd, you'd want. People have expressed interest in that before. I have nothing against doing that when I'm done with it. I originally was going to do a whole series on all, like, the abandoned builds in this world. I don't even mention them in the world tours because they're just, they're abandoned builds. Yeah, I'm sure the PS5 version is coming, but like I said, I'm on PC now. I'm comfortably on PC. I've pretty much changed over fully at this point. Hi, Corbin. I would download. Trident, thank you for the follow. I think this will be big enough for our panda friends. How long have you been playing this world? I've had the world for a little over two years, and I have a little over 6,100 Minecraft days in it. I'm on PS5, and I haven't ran into many issues yet. I don't know. I've This world has struggled. Anybody who's been in the stream since the PS5 days knows if I loaded too much of the world at once, the whole world would crash. What's the project? Monica, I am making a pen for the pandas we just met and found. So building them a little pen to put them in. You know, kind of like how they have at the zoo where they have like that in-ground area. Well, again, my world looks nothing like <laughs> Fair enough, right? I mean, my... It this world ran for two years on a PS5, right? No issues. And then just the more I pushed it, the more technical some of my stuff got. 
I mean, the, the world saves over a gigabyte now. It just started to struggle running it. Collecting all the an animals. So I ran out of ideas for today's stream. Because normally I stream on Sundays, but tomorrow's Easter, so I can't stream tomorrow. So it kind of just divulged into whatever my, you know, brain took us to do. And, like, we started talking about pandas, and then it, then it was capturing pandas. Now it's I have captured pandas. Now it's building a pen for pandas. So that's, to answer your question, it wasn't a planned panda stream, but now it's a, now it's a panda stream. digging a pyramid to bedrock there you go i feel like digging a chunk uh out to bedrock is just part of the minecraft experience like every world has to have some sort of hole that you dug all the way down to bedrock local dummy thank you for the follow how many days afk time i'd say a third a, a third to a half of the time in the world's probably afk really would Again, I built all my farms and optimized them to AFK them. So it would not surprise me. Thank you, Oscar. I try to be relaxing. Yes. Last time I did a chunk Minecraft was... <laughs> yeah, digging through Deep Slate is a lot more difficult now doing the bedrock. Is that snow? This is white concrete. Oop. White concrete. What's the inspiration? So it's a pen for my pandas. Welcome back, Paige. How I make the kung fu den? Maybe you're wasting the corners. I, I, I'm. I am not too worried about wasting much in this world, but I appreciate you. Alrighty. Now, do to do. I'm gonna do the whole floor with moss carpet. Cause I don't want things to be able to spawn in here. And then once it's detailed, I'll find a way to decorate it and then we can bring our pandas here. I just realized this, but why are you dinging it down so that I can look down into the panda pen? So kind of like you have at the zoo where you like look down on them. That's kind of what I'm going for here. What do you use in the build in the bottom for? Because I don't think that's the storage room. What do you use in the build in the bottom for? Uh, what build are we talking about here, G? Egg, thank you for the follow. Welcome. He means the cathedral. Oh. That's the cathedral. <laughs> so that's the... That was originally supposed to be my base in this world. And then I lost a huge save file with a bunch of progress on it. And stopped working on it for six months. And then ended up building a different storage base uh, instead. So that's what that is. So that is the biggest build in the world. That is a huge cathedral that is very far from where we are right now. So that was supposed to be my main base in this world. Gave up building it and it sat unfinished for a while. But we more or less have finished it now because I didn't want to leave it unfinished. The only thing is I didn't do the interior. How do you auto populate items to your quick bar? Uh, it's a option called pick block. So it's in the vanilla game. You just have to assign a button to it. So all it's doing is so like I want moss out of my inventory, right? So I look at the moss, click on the moss, and it pulls it out of my inventory. So it was here, you know, like, I got no moss in my hand, click on the moss, and it pulled the moss out of my hand, or out of my quick bar into the hand. Yep. Is that Josh Allen? Yeah. It's me, Josh Allen. Been playing for eight years and only started using quick block. It's super, super helpful once, uh, it's been in the game for a really long time, but Minecraft doesn't have it auto bound. 
So not a lot of people like know about it because it's not like one of those standard buttons that you have, you know? Here and here. I knew you looked familiar. Monica, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, so this is now let's oh, sleep and decorate. Nick, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Did not make it all the way up. Nahel, thank you for the follow. How are the Bills going to go next year? Oh, we're going to win every game in the Super Bowl. And sleep. Probably getting time to eat here soon. I'm playing Minecraft on my Nintendo Switch. I play Minecraft PS4 version of my PS5. That's what I did for the longest time too, Terry. Is this my main base? This is just a penthouse. So this is like kind of what I would consider home, really. So this is where I like keep my dragon egg and I have a few mob heads and I have my dog. I'm trying to get my cat up here. Oh, is Stormy leaving? I have to go. Hope you have a great team. You have a great night, Stormy. Appreciate you hanging out. But I would say this is probably what I would consider my main base. Speaking of which, I need to ow! I need to come here anyway to get a uh, sapling, and I need bamboo, and I'm gonna need. I don't think I have vines here. Do I have melons here? I don't have melons or vines here. Oh, I do. And melons, and cocoa beans, cocoa beans, cocoa beans, cocoa beans. Oh, I might not have a thing for cocoa beans. Okay, we gotta go get cocoa beans. Also, I'm being dumb. I don't need oak trees. I need jungle trees. I don't have any jungle saplings. We must fix this. Cherry blossom tree is not in a jungle biome. What do you use as an elevator? Uh, either rockets or a bubble column. See ya, Oscar. Have a great rest of your day. Or night. Yeah, we're officially in nighttime now. It's after 7. Uh, what did I come here for? Vines. Vines and cocoa beans. Do I always wear a hat? I either wear a hat or I usually wear a... Uh, I can't... I'm struggling with words today. I don't have my ender chest with me. A headband. I have long hair and I hate when it like isn't held back bugs me. Uh, this. <laughs> jungle trees. Yes, jungle trees too. Good catch, boo. I also need... What the fuck? Oh, okay. I need shears. Good to know that I need shears. These can stay here. Also, I think in the next world, I'm going to do a huge set of farms like these. I don't really need to, but I kind of want to. United States. How many days have you been playing in this? So I've been playing in the world for a little over two years. And I've been... Uh, I have over 6,100 days in the world itself. Oh, that did not go in the right spot. You go there, sir. Give me two of you. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me that. This is bedrock edition. <laughs> Anybody see the guy? I mean, you're watching him who has like his Minecraft streams or him like mining huge amounts of melons. What is that? What is that? Wow, whoa. A lot of questions. Java is coded on JavaScript. Bedrock is coded on C++, which leads to different uh, game mechanics for each version. That's really what it boils down to. He adds a row every live stream. No, not uh, not him. Not not him, Monica. The guy who's like, he mines melons and it, it says it's he's making money mining melons. That's that's the person. 
Or maybe that is the person that you just said. That's the that's the individual I'm curious about. For TikTok gifts. Okay. Alright. Let's see. So I got bamboo. I got melons. I got cocoa beans. I got vines. I need jungle saplings. It's a server. Okay. I do not have any jungle saplings. Should only need two. This is backed up with ink again, isn't it? Oh, whatever. I need more jungle saplings, but... Oh, I'm also going to need... Chillis stream. Thanks, man. We're vibing. Low, low stress environment. It's a server. Okay. And where he's farming for TikTok. Daniel, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Alrighty, let's put a tree. Actually, I'm silly. And forgot. I nope. St Stormy's not here. That does not count as towards bingo. The silly comment does not count towards bingo. I just realized. We'll put a tree right here. And we'll put a tree right here. Those aren't in line, are they? Okay, they're not in line. Perfect. Give me this. No. Give me this. And then you. Ow. That is a very underwhelming jungle tree. That's more what I wanted, but okay. Give me some vines. And give me some cocoa beans. I really am underwhelmed by this. I'm gonna cut it down. <laughs> I appreciate all the likes. I can't, so my TikTok is like super bugged. For some reason, it never pops up donations, barely, and my light count never goes up. I told you cherry blossom trees. I know, but cherry blossom trees don't go in the jungle. I use four saplings, so I don't want a big tree. Like, I could do a big jungle tree, but that's not what I'm going for, you know? I just want a, you know, trees like that, more or less. Apparently, they just don't want to grow here right now. Did you die in the last couple weeks? I thought you had more XP. Uh, I have not. I've been spending XP. So we've been name tagging stuff. Cherry Blossom and Pandas. <laughs> no. Ch I want to do these trees. All right, I give up. Okay, we're going to do one over here. <laughs> Please grow normal. There we go. Place that there. And then give me some cocoa beans. Kind of randomly place those. Give me some more vines. Put some vines up there. Then we'll do some melons like so. Put a nice little pile of melons over here, then let's do, I'm going to go judicious with the, <laughs> stack around the sapling, could, could do that. But we're also going to be, oh, not what I wanted, uh, here. Going to be doing a bunch of bamboo in here, too. So that'll also take up space, you know? Going to have a bunch of bamboo. And a grass block. And more bamboo. 
And then, should we put a water... Yeah, we should put water in here. We'll give him some water, just because. And let's do... I'm going to do a couple melons over here, too. Do some melons on the back wall. Just giving our pandas plenty of space to, you know, have their little area, you know? Like nothing too, too crazy, but a good little spot for our pandas. What is this area, bud? Just joined. This is going to be our little panda enclosure. So we captured some pandas, and I'm just making them a little place to live. Harvey, thank you for the follow. This is all uh, moss carpet. So to prevent mob spawning. Like, this is where I, like, keep a lot of my collectibles, so I don't want to risk uh, mob spawning here. Oh, that doesn't go there. That should be white concrete. Don't put vines, they will climb the wall. So it doesn't, really? Can pandas climb vines? Is that a thing? Are you gonna add guardrails? Kinda, kinda. All right, we need to add water first. We gotta add our water feature. Just mag dump all of this into these chests. Give me this box and this box and do this. Ice. Do a waterfall. Oh, that was a dumb move. <laughs> oh, I could see that. That's a dumb one. That's a that's a bad one even for me. That's funny though. Oh well. Whoops. There we go, nice little water feature. So now we just gotta go get our pandas. The pandas might drown you in. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, if I can't get over this, I don't think I gotta worry about the pandas getting over it. Ow. If the pandas drown, that's kind of natural selection, unfortunately. Our little panda enclosure. Now, we're going to do a couple things. I need a sea lantern in the middle. I can do that. Well, it's a little dark, but it's still... Did I say something I shouldn't have said? I know, I'm going to do it. Something made a noise. Young Dev, thank you for subscribing, man. Appreciate you. Thank you for subbing over on TikTok. Alrighty. Layla, thank you for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> Appreciate you, Dev. User, thank you for the follow. All right, so it's our need a couple more things. We can get those from storage real quick. Loba, Drew, thank you for the follows. Uh, Blake, thank you for the follow. Uh, this one, and this, and this, and you, and crap, that. And then I also need down here should be this. Perfect. How do I have so much sponge? This isn't sponge, this is bamboo. Bamboo, not sponge. Ethan, thank you for the follow. All right, 
now we need another portal and a way to get them in there. Strip jungle logs in the corner? Could. I kind of like the white on the white all the way around look. And then what I'm going to do is cover the sea lanterns like so. That's going to be an issue for this guy. Of course, I already took that stuff out of my inventory. <laughs> Morgan, thank you for the follow. Evo, thank you for the follow. Tegan, thank you for the follow. Ethan, thank you, th thank you for the follow. I got everybody. Alrighty. Oof, thank you for the follow. Details. I think this looks good. And then when the bamboo grows up, it'll look good. Now the trick is getting the pandas in there. Oh, Silk Touch. Silk Touch is the best enchant. Um, 202 new followers on the day. It's been a good followers day. Appreciate everybody who's new. Now we gotta go get our pandas. So to do that, we need not you, this one, and this one, and this one. That works. Give me this. That's not the right box. Give me this box, and this box. This is the right box. I need you. And you. And we're going to remove this mess for now. Okay. Math time. Everybody's put a, put a bamboo dispenser. That's a good idea. That's a good one. I'll probably put it in the wall at some point. Uh, math. My coordinates are 141. Y doesn't matter. Z is negative 106 divided by 8 divided by 8. 141 divided by 8 equals... That was 141 divided by 8 equals 17.6, so 18. Again, Y doesn't matter. 106 divided by... 106 divided by 8 equals 13.2, so 13. So negative 13. Okay. Yes, this is portal math, in case nobody's ever seen this. Hi, first time on YouTube stream, watch you for your hours and say keep alert. Thank you, Aiden. Hi, Paige. Hi, Terry. I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube side of the stream. Okay, so I am looking for 18, so right here, 13. So right here, but I don't want to connect it to this portal because I'm going to mess with it, so I'm going to go this way with it. Anybody here? The mapping project? Here's the hole for the mapping project. Make sure we fill these in. Okay, so it was 18, so right here, 13. There's no way. I did grab the flint steel. Okay. <laughs> Hello. That was not the right block to put in there, but it is what it is. It is a Captain America shirt, believe it or not. So this is one of my workout shirts. It's very comfortable. That's why I like wearing it when I'm streaming, because I can be cozy. Alright, this is cleared out enough. Now it should just be a simple like that. And then let's make sure it linked. Should have linked. Team Iron Man. Oh no, Team Iron Man all the way. And all right, these two have linked. Oh, Team, yeah, Team Iron Man all the way. But when it came to Halloween, I'm much closer looking to Captain America and Chris Evans than I am Robert Downey Jr. 
And then that should have linked. Sweet, that's easy enough. And then this little guy goes with us. And then it should just be as simple as doing this. Here's the trick, not killing the panda. Okay, he went through. To be honest, I'm learning so much. Oh, thanks, Jasmine. Okay, Zen. Zen, buddy, go that way. Wait, where is where is Zen's favorite treat? Come on, Zen. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come on. Get up on the edge. Get up on the edge. Good boy. Good boy, Zen. Good boy, Zen. What headset? So I have an Astro A50, but I like these earbuds for gaming on PC. Alright, Zen is safely in here now. Now we go get the other ones. Alright, we'll just leave all this junk in here because it's really is just all junk for right now. Really gonna be fun when a gas spawns in this one unspawn proofed area of my nether hub. That's where this is gonna get really fun. I'm in the wall. I'm linked between two nether portals. There we go. Popper, thank you for the follow. Play MW3, I do not. I have not bought a Call of Duty since Cold War. Actually, no, I did buy MW2. That's a lie, my bad. Kyler, thank you for the follow. Jasmine, thank you for the follow. Is this the right way? Yes. Let's go get to our other panda friends. This is Bedrock, yes. We must get away from the gas farm. MW3 is just MW2 DLC. Yeah, pretty much. Can we be real and say, like, all the last CODs have just been DLC? How long have I had this world and is it hardcore? So this is normal survival, or this is regular Bedrock Minecraft, not hardcore. And I've had it for a little over two years, and I have a little over 6,100 days. Go get our other panda friends. Warzone fell off, to be honest. There will never be another Battle Royale like Season 1 Warzone and the original Rebirth Island. Never going to get that back. Hi, Ace. Alrighty. You want to come with us, Pan Pan or Paul? Let's take Paul. Come on, Paul. We're going on an adventure. I played a lot of Rainbow Six when it first came out. I'm doing good, Ace. Sir, Popper. Hi, guys. All right. I played a lot of Rainbow when it was still very early on Rainbow. I hit Platinum one season, and that's the highest I ever got. It's pretty average. High gold, low Platinum player. Hi, buddy. There we go. I've been playing it for a lot last year, but when I get stick drift, it comes unplayable. Okay. If you have the money for one, if you get yourself a controller from Hex Gaming, I've had mine for two years, and it's been amazing. No stick drift, no issues with it whatsoever. Been an absolute amazing controller. They're, they're a little pricey, though. Like, I don't like scuff controllers, and I don't like the other pro controllers. And I really don't like the ones PlayStation put out because they're crazy. But Hex makes, like, their own custom controller, and it's pretty good for the price tag. Dude, I'm really not trying to hit you, and you're not making this easy. Come on. Get in the box. Getting this, Paul. There we go. Now we go on an adventure. Who wants to do the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song? 
it's just crazy expensive. Like, uh, where is mine? Like, I have uh, this right here, a Hex gaming controller. The thing's an absolute unit. It's very well built. They have adaptive triggers on it. It's great. Yeah, one pixel and they can't go up. Oh, that's not the right corner. What's stick drift? Uh, it's where your game thinks your your stick on your controller is broken, so your game thinks you're pushing on it when you're really not. So it can be super annoying. Like, if to tell if you have stick drift is you're like just set your cursor on the screen and see if your like character starts to look or move somewhere in some cases. This is definitely the wrong way because I'm not paying attention. And then we take a turn here. Also, I should pay attention because there's a huge area of my nether that's not spawn-proof anymore. Yeah. What chance is your sword... Uh, Unbreaking, looting, smite, knockback, and mending. And yes, I run smite over uh, sharpness simply because I got smite before I got sharpness. Dude, <laughs> Jack, thank you for the follow. Do the Pirates of the Caribbean. That's the song that's going through my head right now is the Pirates theme. It, it was baby... Sh I'm, no, I don't want to go through the portal yet. No, Poe, look out. No, Poe. Okay. Oh, you gotta throw it in reverse, buddy. Okay, pop stay right there. Dude, your bounding box is so close with the bounding box of the boat. Right. Well, you gotta think, how much are you mashing on your controller, though? Right? Like... Oh, Poe went right in. That was easy. Let's go get Pan Pan. Yeah, it's the point of the stream where I'm losing a little bit. I can't remember even where I am in my own nether hub. Why are the buttons there? To prevent piglins from spawning. So it prevents anything from spawning on the ice rail pathways. So it doesn't mess up the boat and it blocks spawning. So it's a perfect thing to put there. Holy shit, we did 15,000 views so far. That is wild. Appreciate y'all. We also hit 200 new followers. Thank you, everybody. Welcome. If I missed anybody's, you know, joining, appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. I'm not on Twitch. I'm YouTube. So I'm on both YouTube and TikTok simultaneously. So if you ever miss a live uh, on TikTok and you want to watch it back, it's saved over on YouTube. I don't like Twitch. I think Twitch is predatory on their content creators and people who watch. Bye-bye, Pan Pan. I am in the US. TT, thank you for the follow. Morgan, thank you for the follow. Is this Java? This is Bedrock Edition. Alright, buddy. You and me. Oh. Okay. You and me. Oh, okay. You and me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, alright. Thank you for the follow. Twitch doesn't want you making money from other platforms if you're making money from them. I don't make any money from any of this. I do this purely as a hobby and for fun. But again, I don't like Twitch. 
Hello from Denmark. Morton, you might win the award for farthest away tonight. Actually, uh, Jesse's not in here anymore, but Jesse's a good ways away. Uh, hard, I don't recommend creeper farms. Uh, so I think if you're going to build a farm for gunpowder, you should just build a general mob farm. Hello from Australia, Holland, Ireland, New Zealand. Okay, maybe not. Looks like we are all over the map today, all over the globe. Appreciate everybody. Didn't know my stream would have... Oh, fucking sorry, dude. And sorry, Stormy, for swearing. Ow, yeah, I deserve that. Everyone is joining now. What about a gas farm? Gas farms are good, too. Uh, gas farms probably the worst-sounding farm ever. Just let you know, hello, I'm from Dutch, Indiana. Popper, thank you for the heart, me. Appreciate you. He's a mad panda. He is. Remind me, we should make potions of instant health to get them healed back up. Hello from Egypt. Ooh, I haven't gotten that one before. I will say this. I'm in the U.S., and 75% of my following is United States. But then it goes everywhere else, which is absolutely wild to think that, like, I get to interact with you guys all over the world while playing Minecraft is awesome. Welcome, Popper. I'm, I'm from New England. I'm not going to say what state I'm from. If... I'm on the East Coast from, from New England. Hello from Antarctica. Do I have an SMP? I do not. This is just a single player world. Hello from the Netherlands. Okay. Is it hard to make a creeper farm and are they needed? So creeper farms are actually really easy to build generally. But uh, I would say if you're going to go through the effort to make a creeper farm, make a mob farm. You're going to get the same rates. And with a mob farm, you'll get more other loot. You'll get bones, you'll get rotten flesh, which ain't great. But you get spider eyes and string and stuff like that. Hello from Pluto. How do I join? Original, I appreciate you asking, man, but it's just a uh, single player world. I'm the only one in here. You look like you live in Texas. I do not live in Texas. No harm in asking. Is this vanilla? Vanilla survival through and through since day one. No mods, no packs, nothing. Not even, uh, not even like shader packs. Go through. Yes. How long did all this take? So I've had the world for a little over two years, and I have a little over 6,100 Minecraft days. Go, Pan Pan. Go. Go without me needing to put you in there. Yes, Pan Pan. Oh, the bamboo for our friends. Let's get rid of this. Well, you use shaders for screenshots, yes. I do use shaders to get RTX screenshots. You got me there. Alrighty, our new pandas are in their new home. I do have a Discord. The link is in my bio. So I have a Discord for all the subscribers and members and stuff like that. I am on Bedrock PC. This whole world started on a PS5, though. These guys. I think you do need a creeper farm if you want to fly around a lot. Milan, I'll be, I'll be real honest with you. I got 6,000 days in this world. I don't have a creeper farm. I don't think I've ever run out of gunpowder. Sleep well, brother. Nice to see you. You too, Morton. Have a great night. Alrighty, we need to go deactivate that portal in the nether before it accidentally unlinks unlink to something it shouldn't link to. Will the pandas drown in the waterfall? I I'll be real honest with you. If they can manage to drown in the waterfall, I think that's just natural selection. Alrighty, some of you move over there. There we go. Go explore. Oh, we have our pandas. That killed a couple hours of the stream. All right, I gotta go clean up the mess I made, though. That's that's what's on the list. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Nope. Ben, thank you for the follow. After health potions, yes. We do need to get health potions, because I hit them quite a few times on accident. Just real quick, let's sleep. Show the mob farm. Uh, TT, if you scroll back on my TikTok page... 
There's a series called Farms I Can't Live Without. Pretty sure the first one's the mob farm. Thanks, Popper. Alrighty. I'm gonna take this portal out. Okay, so that should now be unlinked. And I just realized I took the netherrack with me. So we'll just steal some from in here. Hey Jelly Cat, are you ready to go through a portal or are you still on your cooldown? Death, did I just start my new world? I can't find iron anywhere. It's all sand. Where should I look? Underground. Is this a super flat world? It is not. How spread out is your world? Very. Uh, hockey practice. I'll catch you later! Exclamation point. How many hours? Too many. Uh, no. And what's the worst item you hate obtaining? I don't know. Music discs. I don't like getting music discs. If, if you're a long-term viewer, you you know why I don't like music discs. All right, Jelly Cat. Go through the portal, Jelly Cat. Yeah, Jelly Cat. Come here, Jellycat. Come on. Come on, Jellycat. Yes, Jellycat. Where do you want to hang out, Jellycat? Jellycat on the counter. <laughs> I had an awesome music disc farm until it exploded. Jellycat on the counter. Got it. usual spot for cats, right? Alrighty. For now, put all that in there. Health potions. Actually, we'll do... Give me... Nope, you. You. This one, this one. I need a... No, uh... I can really use both, can I? And then this. There's no way this is going to be square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Here. Close enough. <laughs> Links in my bio heart. Most overcomplicated dropper setup ever. Music stopped again. <laughs> Motorcycle, thank you for following. World Tour, Map Tour is on the YouTube page already if you want one. Give me this. Go right there. Go right there. And give me one piece of white concrete right here. Give me this. Give me a lever. This. Yep, so I should be able to do all of that easy enough. If anybody's curious, this is this is a very thrown together auto dropper. It's not 
fancy, but what it will do, I'll find my bamboo, is any bamboo I put in here, I turn this on, can feed our panda friends. Sophie, thank you for the follow. Emmett, thank you for the rose. And then turn it off. And we'll be good. They're not hungry right now, apparently. Duty, how are we doing? How long have you been live for? Four and a half hours. Now that I said that out loud, I've been live for a long time. Uh, this goes here, and then this has the wood chest. Stream lag for anyone else? Oh, is it lagging? Well, apparently they don't want to eat. Well, they have the options. Streaming tomorrow. I will not be live tomorrow because of Easter. I'll be spending it with my family, so I will not will not be live tomorrow. So the story behind the music disc is I have a music disc farm, or had one. Uh, I struggled with it on across a couple streams, and then it blew itself up. So that's the running joke, is I want nothing to do with the music disc farm, because it's been such a pain to deal with. That's fixed. Alrighty. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Maybe. I don't know. I think we're coming to the end of the stream, though. I'm definitely hitting a wall on my ability. Usually I'm good for four, four and a half hours. We're right about at that mark. I'm going to tear out this beacon, see what our new thing looks like, and that's probably going to be it for tonight. Also, I'm getting work notification after work notification. As much as I don't want to answer them, I should probably log on and figure out why I need needed. Go for the five-hour mark. Five, five hours straight sitting is a lot of Minecraft. Kind of hungry. I'm sorry. Well, the best thing, Doodle, is you can go back and watch the whole thing on YouTube because it's always saved over there. Again, I'm going to clean up the mess I made, and we'll see. Or I might do a just chatting stream for a little bit while I eat, catch up, and then oh, work on some more stuff. Yes. I'm starving. I don't know what I want to eat. Have a good one, Yor. Eat sushi. I am very, very allergic to shellfish, so no sushi. I've had uh, vegetarian sushi, which is like guacamole and like rice and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty good. But yeah, no, no normal sushi. Hey, they're eating the bamboo. I had fried pickles. Nice. I got to have the fried tomatoes and uh, spam here soon, as promised. I'm going to give them another pumpkin. I think they deserve another pumpkin in here. Do you guys want another pumpkin? I'm gonna put a little pumpkin in here on your tower. Didn't you say, so I'm actually moving to a new house uh, in about a month. So I'm not gonna do a setup tour because I'm gonna tear out my whole setup and put a new one in. Pumpkin, I know, melon. So I'll be getting a new place here soon. So I don't really wanna be doing a uh, a tour when I'm not going to be in it much longer. Yeah, thanks. Oh, we're out of bamboo to feed them. But now they have this nice little pen. They can take care of themselves. I'm a work systems facilitator for a pharmaceutical and nutritional manufacturing company. I do corporate project management. 
for manufacturing plants. I think that came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Now you're going to make a new bamboo farm? <laughs> Ross, you've been here long enough to know that bamboo is not an issue. I don't know what I'm going to do with these chests, though. Is there anything in here that's not going just in a junk chest? White concrete goes in this box. That's fine. Uh, none of this overly matters whatsoever. So I'm going to clean up my mess. Cute. Been here since we were trying to get Cheeto back home. Oh, that's right. Cheeto still is over there, huh? You know, I could probably put Cheeto in there. But I probably should remember to bring Cheeto. Actually, Cheeto can go on a lead. I'm not worried. We can go get Cheeto. Totally forgot about Cheeto. Won't lie. Do you have a villager crop farm? I ha It's four layers and... 16 modules is my villager breeder or not villager breeder villager crop farm i'm really glad it rains so much in bedrock minecraft it's the best bedtime hi mike how we doing man welcome to the stream Best early game XP farm. Uh, early game, if you're on Bedrock, probably a gold farm. Pretty easy. And you can also take advantage of, like, mob spawners. Uh, those are pretty generic, but also pretty easy. Uh, bamboo. I wanted some bamboo while I was over here. What's the shulker noise? What shulker? Ooh, I gotta go get some bamboo. <laughs> Now that there isn't 200 people in here asking hella questions, I'm going to lurk for a bit. <laughs> Appreciate it, Danny. Definitely slowing down. Got to go watch hockey now. Have a good Easter. Catch you like snipe. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck with hockey and all that good stuff. All right, so now it begins the process of moving all this crap. Did I end up? Yes, Jason, I did. So I'll show you in one second. I'm just going to dump all of this in here for now. Let the auto sorter just do its thing. How long did it take to what? To make all of this? Oh, too many hours. Can't count. Stormy is not in here. Yes. Stormy uh, had other stuff to do. It is Saturday night. She's usually pretty about being good here, but if she spent most of the live here with us. But yeah, so we got the pan. I fell in. We got the pandas back. They're in here chilling. Put away in to feed them. Just gonna go get some more bamboo for them. They're chilling. We got Poe. We have Zen, and then we have Pan Pan. So Popper, you're gonna want to look up Silent Whisperer on YouTube. It's his design that I use, and it's his water pillar design that I use. You'll you'll if you watch his videos, you know what I'm talking about. He did just release a new one that I haven't had a chance to watch, but I bet you it's very good too. Hannah, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hi, guys. All right. I'm going to dump this stuff into the auto sorter, and then we'll go get Cheeto, and then that's going to be the end of the live. No problem, Popper. The new one is basic. All right, real quick, let's not... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to drown my inventory. For now, let's do this. Just get all this out of here for now. Give me this back. All right. Easy sort stuff that does not need to all be dumped into the auto sorter. Okay, I am running out of space for stone. Good to know. You got me addicted? Good. You built a whole building around this. Mike, you haven't been here since we put the building around the sorter? That's been done for a while, brother. This has been a finished project for quite a while now. Gotta get you back in here more, man. The new one is basic. Oh, you know, sometimes basic is good. Hi, Dan. How we doing? Gingerbread, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. 
Of all the things in my world that cause frame rate issues, this system, when I dump a whole bunch into there, is... Ugh. Judy, thank you for the follow. Welcome. All right. Easy sort stuff. Uh, I don't care. This, 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 this. This can all be... That can all go in there. This stuff's all easy sort. Top chest was... We're definitely going to need to condense this down. Stone, 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 stone. Stone, that's anisite, dirt, and another rack. Another rack should be right here. And then dirt's all the way on the second to top chest. And then anisite goes over here. Does the storage use water streams or just hoppers? Water streams. So, I'll show you in one second. So, if we go back here... So you can see they're coming out right here. You see them zip by every second here. They're coming up this chute right behind this. And then they go down the water stream and they're sorted. I've been playing in the world for a little over two years and I have a little over 6,100 days in the world. Those are Minecraft days. Is it hard to build? No, not really. It's a little resource intensive, but it's not hard to build. Actually, it is 8 o'clock, yeah. I was going to go get uh, Cheeto, but I think I'm going to call it here for the night, guys. We'll go look at our... We'll go get some bamboo for the pandas. And then we'll... I'm going to call it a day. We'll get Cheeto the next live stream. Rest and chilling are important, exactly. You know, I'm just going to take an entire shulker box of bamboo. Who is Cheeto? Cheeto is an ocelot that we <laughs> chased down when we were getting uh, pandas. When will the next live be? So probably not till Thursday because tomorrow's Easter. So tomorrow being Easter and all, I'm not going to stream. Uh, well, it's Easter. And even if... Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. Because maybe after after Easter dinner, I'll be on. But that's that's a small maybe. Not a, uh, don't bet on it. Maybe. Only if you want to exactly. But if you guys have Discord, I always announce when I'm going live on my Discord page. I have a whole channel for it. So that's the easiest way to stay up to date on when the next streams are going to be. Did I, I did not get the health pots. We'll do that another time. But we'll give them a quick little feed here. I feel like this was a good addition to my world. There you go. We'll give them a little bit more. In a creative copy. Yes. Well. Oh, here we go. I appreciate everybody who stopped by today. We a little over 226 new followers, uh, 17,000 viewers, 31,000 likes. Absolutely crazy day. Hope you guys have a great Easter tomorrow. You know, spend some time with your families. If you don't celebrate, you don't celebrate. That's fine. But, you know, have a great Sunday. Very small chance I'll be live tomorrow night. If I decide to go live, I will post in Discord that I'm going live. If you ever see a stream recap on TikTok, usually that's a sign that I'll be live. But uh, have a great rest of your day. I appreciate all of you. Happy Easter. Take care of yourselves. All that good stuff. Peace. See you, YouTube. You guys have a great night, too. Appreciate all you.